right, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning on in. Happy Halloween, everybody. Dia de los muertos. You can hit the like button as we get started here this evening. Thank you all so much for tuning on in. Let's get it. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming, FDMG, it's coming, 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 it's coming. MG is coming, thought it's personality be twerking, it's twerking. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome to all of my pumpkin spice queens. You are appreciated, you are appreciated, you are appreciated. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing all right this evening. Probably gonna have some knocks on the door for a little bit. I, I, I should have put up a sign. I may still put up a sign. And this is my costume right here. That's it. That's all I need. Trying to keep up with Umar. Umar up here with his cosplay on. We're gonna get into that video today. Uh, people been asking, what are we gonna be covering? It's a it's a video from I, I can't remember. It's been a, I, I'm gonna say it's about about a month ago. A month. He was over in Africa. And I want everyone, if you saw the thumbnail to this particular live stream, I want you to think about something. Umar is everywhere except up there at those abandoned buildings getting work done. And this has been going on since he acquired these buildings back in February of 2019. Here we are now, uh, October 31st, 2023, four and a half years later, over four and a half years later, almost uh, four uh, uh, years and, and seven months later. And I've yet to see this guy up there doing anything himself. Now he's had people come up there and paint unprofessionally. He's had people up on the roof with and ones on and sandals. He's had people up inside of the gym trying to figure out what to do with the water that was coming up in the, from the gym uh, floor, uh, all these different things. But I've yet to see Umar actually do any work himself. I haven't seen him hammer a nail. I haven't seen him with any plywood. I haven't seen him with any uh, uh, measuring tapes. Uh, one time he did have some um, a drill bit and look like a drill bit in the drill, but I didn't see him doing anything with it. So the point is that if you look at the thumbnail and maybe I should show it to you all. Yeah, I'll show it to you all if you look at it and look at how the outside and this is just the exterior of the abandoned building up there in Wilmington. This is the larger side, so larger building on the other side of the street. If you look at 2019 and what it looked like, it still didn't look all that great. But you look four and a half years later and this picture on the right there. Uh, says 2023, at least on my right, 2023, that particular picture is a screenshot from a video that was taken, what, two days ago. Look at it. Meanwhile, in the picture in the middle there, Umar's over in Africa. He's all over the place except getting work done there up at these abandoned buildings, which is the point of this particular video just to outline that Umar, not only is he not handling business, but he also lied about renovations being done. Someone even sent me a video just before I started this show. And also thanks to everyone who sent me uh, videos and, and links and stuff. I haven't been able to get through everything, but I, I've picked out a couple and we're going to get to today. we got plenty to get to. We're going to take our time. Um, they sent me a picture, a, a, a link to a video. And in the video, they said that Umar is talking about why renovations are not done. And the video is from like two weeks ago. So which one is it? Two and a half months ago, he was saying that it was all done and where are the haters and where's the cookie crush chat and where's lean old horror. And then two weeks ago, he says that they're not done. So I want to outline this too, that he lies a lot. And one can ask the question, why does he lie a lot? Because he's a scammer. That's what scammers do. That's what Cesar Pena is doing. That's what DJ Envy is doing. That's what Jay Morrison has done. That's what Polite has done. And the list goes on and on and on. 
By the way, I did put up a poll on my community tab here on Linen Honor. Uh, excuse me, Linen Honor. Uh, my YouTube page. And on it, I put it here. Who would you want me to start a new series on? Because this is a series on Umar. And the candidates are Jay Morrison, Polite, Cesar Fina, Slash, DJ Envy. And as of right now, looks like there's about 600 votes, a little more than 600 votes. And 20% say Jay Morrison, 37% say Polite, and 42% say Cesar Fina slash DJ Envy. So as of right now, it looks like Cesar Fina and DJ Envy, they are in the lead. But I plan on uh, having this up for maybe another four days or so. And then next week, we will start a new series. It looks like probably between Cesar Pena and DJ Envy slash DJ Envy and Polite, between those two. It's totally up to y'all. Okay, whatever you guys want. Now, just because we do one doesn't mean that we're not going to do the other. As I'm saying, the next one that I'm going to start will be what you guys vote for. And then who knows, maybe the following week or two weeks later, I'll start the next one with the other person. And then we'll have an ongoing three uh, people series, including Umar Johnson and then the other two. OK, that's that's going to be the plan as we move forward. I want to thank everyone, too, for being patient. I was gone for about eight months, but I'm back and I'm in full effect and I'm uh, ready to go. I also want to thank all of the mods here. And I want to thank everyone who sent in uh, Cash App, PayPal and the Super Chats during the live stream. I really do appreciate that as well. Uh, OK, well, let's get into it. I, I want to start. By. Showing you all the video of Umar saying, and I haven't watched it, so I, I'm, this, I'm going off the word of the person who sent sent me. OK, so sent me the, the link. What if they sent it to me. We're going to have to listen. It's a short video. We'll listen to hear. Listen for Umar's talking about the status of these renovations. I could go back and play the videos where he was saying that it was the renovations are done from two months ago. All right. But we did that. I think we did some of that yesterday, but we also did that last week. So just get back and get into the archive and, and check those out. And you can see. So I'm going to start with this particular uh, video right here. But first, let me do this. Our goal for today in terms of likes, we want to get to 250. OK, 250 likes. We're going to light up a, a cookie crust chat letter. We're going to uh, get to 450. We're going to light up the second one. We get to 750. We're going to light up the third one. Okay, we get to a thousand. I'm gonna take my shirt off and I'm gonna do the. the I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, break dance and I'm gonna do the kick mark. Okay, that's the plan. <laughs> All right. So uh, let me get to the. There's a couple of super chats that came in earlier. Doctor Umar's HVAC says I can't wait for Umar to install me, Lynn. And I know you've been waiting so long. The HVAC saga was one of the the great 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 grandparent descendant of. Um, foo -foo. It was one of the great, great uh, scandals in this whole Umar Johnson FMG uh, saga. And it has been a saga. And Umar said that he that he he paid for the age back, but then it took a year for it to be delivered. But then it was delayed because of y'all. And it was just he, it just kept going on and on and on and on and on. And then finally, he got an H back that was brought up there. I don't know whatever happened with that. I know he did say that. Uh, you know, there was inspections that need to be done. OK, well, what happened with that? So instead of him being up in over in Africa and doing all these other things, again, he's collected millions of dollars for the school project. That's the point. It's also the fact that also part of this is, is just how he behaves. The idea that, that black people are going to send this guy money under the guise that he's going to open up a school for black boys. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely insanity right now at this point. Come on now. This has been going on since 2013. Excuse me. It was the school was supposed to open in 2013. This has been going on since 2010. And no school in sight. The, uh, but I want to get to this. I don't know where the, what the HVAC situation is. I don't know what the status is or any of that stuff. But that was one of the huge sagas with Umar. And it, it's always something with this guy. These scammers, it's always something. There's always some excuse. Uh, Cesar Pena, there's always some excuse. With Jay Morrison, there's always some excuse. With Polite, there's always some excuse. With Umar, there's always some excuse. And that's a red flag right there. If someone says they're going to do something, send them the money. If they don't do what they said they're going to do, that's a problem. With Umar now, we're talking 13 years of this. And not a school insight. Not one boy has been educated. OK, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what's going to happen with the which HVAC. I, I, I'm wishing the best for you. I really am. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> OK, thanks for the super chat, Dr. Umar H, Dr. Umar's HVAC. Rod M says, we're going to see Snow Bunny rant to Africa, Toto. No, no, not today. Not today. That's that's going to be next week because it's a shorter video. I haven't watched it, but it's a shorter video. I downloaded it. We'll watch. Uh, we'll probably do that as uh, part of a, of a series of shorter videos that we'll cover next week. OK, 
Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably uh, we got it. We got forced overtime, so I may go into work uh, tomorrow. And if I do, I probably won't live stream. OK, I just want to say that to people because I want to live stream Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. Um, there is a chance that I go in and then I'll, um, I'm not too tired. I can get on on here maybe for an hour or so. We can get into something. Maybe we can do that. But, but don't hold me to it. I, I'll, I'll know for sure. For now, assume that tomorrow I won't be live streaming. OK, assume that for now. OK, but check my community tab uh, in the morning time tomorrow and, and, and see if I've uploaded anything there in terms of, of scheduling. OK, thanks, Rod M for the super chat. And then Dr. Umar Johnson's chair sent in a super sticker. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's not his chair. It's a representation of his chair. OK, I can pull up the chair. <laughs> the chair looks a little worse than that, but that's besides the point. All right. Thank you so much for the super chats, everybody. I appreciate it. All right. So let's get into it because I want to have a, a concise show this evening. I hope you guys have been enjoying these live streams and uh, everyone inside the cookie said, I want to thank you all again. I, I want to take these off. I just I, it's just too much. I'll put these on. How's that? OK, <laughs> my glass, my glasses are still in the car. I need to go. I meant to get them. I forgot. All right, uh, so let's get into it. Here we go. Uh, I want to pull up a video. I haven't watched this yet, and we already have 430 people in the building. Got the like button. I appreciate it. Uh, again, here's our goal for today. And if Quick Crush Chat, if you don't let me know if we reach any of these goals during the live stream, let me know, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and put light on. All right. Okay. So let me pull this up. And this particular video, let me give you the the actual. This video is from October 2nd. Okay, so it's actually almost a month ago. But again, two over two months ago, he said that all renovations were done. So let's see what he says in this particular video. Oh, that's the last part. Here we go. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, the Prince of Pan-Africanism, the Prince of Pan-Africanism. This is the notorious RBG, the notorious RBG, the notorious RBG. Boy, he be repeating so much. We already had 342. My goodness gracious. Y'all ain't playing tonight. Y'all not playing tonight. Goodness, this is the goal right there. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and put one on then. Y'all, y'all not playing, huh? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Here we go. We got one life. Y'all remember that show, The Price is Right? That's what I feel like right here. Why don't you come on down? <laughs> okay. Thank y'all so much. Very, very gracious. Very kind and generous of you all. We already we already done got the first goal. Thank you. All right, next goal is four fifty. Next time, make it uh, make make it twenty dollars. As Umar said, you gonna send me ten? Make some next time, make it twenty. <laughs> That's what he said. What's up, Levi? And Hassa's in the building. How's it going, Hassa? Good twin, formerly uh, known as a uh, AK. And a mirrors in, yeah, Bob Baker. I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to like watching that show. They had some some pretty women on there. Don't tell Umar though. Cause he, he he gonna get mad at me. What's up, Ben? Okay, let, let me let me let me get to it. Okay, here we go. To you live and direct from the city of Wilmington, Delaware, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. I'm coming to you live and direct from the city of Wilmington, Delaware, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. I'm coming to you live and direct from the city <laughs> yeah, of Wilmington, true. Delaware, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Brothers and sisters, please hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Please hit the cash app, we go. dollar sign FDMG school. Please hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. What is that? He got a cage back there with chickens. <laughs> I don't know what he <laughs> Remember, he said he's going to have an FDMG farm. That's the farm right there. He got chickens back there. There's a chicken coop. <laughs> you know what? This is sad. Him sitting out here with with the, the I don't know what that's called. The, you know that print, the the print, the dashiki print, and his the grass look horrible. The building look dilapidated. The doors missing handles. The door got some sort of a white film on top of it. I think that's you know, yeah that's, yeah that I don't know if that's that door that had the spray paint on it. Maybe they tried to get it off years ago and it actually messed up the exterior paint. That's what it looked like to me. Got an overgrown field and then it got a. Got that fence over there, chicken coop. It's just sad. And he's looking sad, too. I'm so sorry, sir. Sir, I am so sorry. Yeah, he do. He looks defeated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he probably got the memo. <laughs> no, he did this before we, we got back together. So I don't know. Maybe he, I don't know. <laughs> Sal says, whatever happened to the state-to-state -state school bus service for the kids? Yeah, I remember that. If you guys don't know, there was a, a point. I don't remember how long ago it was. I found them forgot, but 
Umar was talking about how he was going to be busing children into the school from different states and that they were going to be busted. <laughs> now that I think about it now, it's one of the most ridiculous things in this whole saga. Anybody remember that hit the one? Some people may not may not remember that. You may uh, weren't weren't didn't see videos. Some we got a lot of new people. I got a lot of new subscribers and stuff. And then Umar followers, they think I'm new to this. You ain't nothing you can tell me that I I can't review. I got a rebuttal for all of that. Matter of fact, I should pull up the list of all the excuses that y'all make for this guy. And it's the same excuses 13 years later. The same excuses. I'm into, I'm going to put that up at the pool. I might still do that. But this is this is Umar was talking about how because because uh, he wanted to bring children in. It's really a, it's really a knockoff off of the St. Paul school scam. Okay, St. Paul school scam. He said he was going to purchase a building. This were he was going to purchase these these buildings, a college campus, and it was going to be a boarding school where, where the boys would come and live there. Okay, so he went from a college campus all the way down to these chicken shack, uh, a New Jack City Carter type bandos up here in Wilmington that look Wilmington, Delaware, that look horrible. But but a spinoff to kind of pull the leverage that he kind of built from the you know the uh, St. Paul's school scam. He started to talk about how what we're going to do is we're going to bring people from children, drop bus of men from different states. And I'm thinking to myself, logistically, I'm thinking to myself financially, how is that going to be? The, the budget for that is, is crazy. And he had this whole big scheme and, and he had some bus stop locations and all. And it was just one of the most ridiculous things. And he actually had it written out because he had a little notepad. I said, this guy. He sat down and he said to himself, yeah, OK, so what cities are we going to be? Those going to be one in Jersey, I think he said. I think he said something somewhere in New York or something like that. And one in California, one one in Alaska. He was, you know, <laughs> kids, they're going to be they're going to be on the bus for days to get to school. And they're going to they're going to sleep on the bus and then get back in the morning. And come on right back on, on in. But, yeah, that's what he was talking about. A state to state school bus service for the kids. One of the most ridiculous things. But it's no different than all, a lot of the other things. He was going to have a black vegan sports bar. He said he was going to have a, a a library inside of the uh, the school that the children. He said it was going to be a cafe. The children were going to work in the cafe at the school. He he said it was going to build an observatory up on the roof. Uh, on these buildings, he's going to build a whole observatory. He was like, and with that way, we can go ahead and we can see the surface of the planet, family. We can see the surface of the planet. We can see the surface of the planet, family. That's another ridiculous one. So this this is right up there. But it goes to show you he doesn't know what he's doing. He's throwing stuff out there just in a sensational stuff, just stuff that's way over the top. And there are people who still believe that somehow this is all going to happen. I don't get it. And you knew Umar Johnson, people that's just getting on board. You think you know Umar, but you don't. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to show you with receipts what this guy is all about. Because hopefully you make the best decision that you can for yourself. We work it. Okay. I'm this is a service. It's a service to y'all. I mean, we have a good time, but it's a service because we are working. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Al. Uh Barry, how's it going? Says, I'm upset. I wanted to sign up for the FMG Air Cavalry. <laughs> Listen, here's another one. Barry, you remember this one? Umar said that they was going to teach boys how to fly helicopters. And that when you come to, because it was supposed to be a boarding school, when you come and bring to see your child, they going the boy going to pick you up in the helicopter, as uh, presumably at the airport. That's what I'm thinking, and then fly you over to the school. This is what Umar said. He also said they're going to teach the boys aeronautics science or whatever he said, aeronautical out of something like that. I teach boys how to fly airplanes, and I have friends who are are pilots, and they're going to be showing the boys how just over the top, just. <laughs> Meanwhile, these are the same boys whose parents are going to have to pay tuition. I think he said five hundred dollars a month. So roughly five thousand dollars a year. And this is an impoverished community, impoverished. Right. This is this is all in Umar's fantasy land. And it's going to be Air Cavalry Academy. He said he's going to teach the boys how to be black Rambos. I kid you not. I'm not making any of this up. Umar Johnson follows you newer people. People. I know him more, better than you. And I got receipts on all this. All of it. I, if you if we sat down, and you said, "Well, show me that." And I said, "Hold on, let me pull it up, and I'll show you." You said, "Well, show me where he said that he was going to do the observatory." I said, "Hold on a second. I know which video it is. It's not even a video; it's an audio." See, back then, Umar. I don't mean to go off already. We're gonna get to it, but back then, Umar, he was talking about he had all kinds of schemes. He had the the, the, FD, uh, uh, the 
Big Papa podcast, and then he had the, the, the Umar Johnson TV or whatever it was. But the Big Papa podcast, he would do. He get tell people to pay a monthly subscription. He do these, but he would. He started good. He had like four or five episodes in a month. But then after that, he stopped doing them. And then, and then after a couple of months, he'll start doing them again, and you're promoted again, and then people sign back up. Some of them's paying for all the months, they ain't getting nothing. But in one of those podcasts, Umar says that they're going to build. He said a whole bunch of crazy stuff in that one. One of these days, we're going to cover that one again. Umar John's father, you really need to hear that because he says some out some stuff that's way out there that would make. I remember one time he said he, they're going to kidnap the kids. That's what he said. He said we're going to kidnap the kids. And we're going to take them out into the wilderness and teach them how to be men. I said, what? But if you would tell me, well, I, that sounds crazy. He said they're going to build an observatory, uh, you know, a, a big old telescope up on and a whole observatory on top of the roof. No, Lenin, you, Lino Horror, you are lying. It's, it, it's, it, it's Halloween, so we're going to say Lino Horror today. Uh, Lino Horror, you lying. I said, well, hold on. Let me pull it up. It's from the Big Papa Podcast. And I can play it for you and you will hear it and you will be like, what? See, what I'm getting at is that these are all lies. This guy lies. He's a habitual liar. And that's why there's you guys shouldn't be trusting nobody who lies like that. Caesar Pena is a habitual liar. Jay Morrison is a habitual liar. Polite is a habitual liar. Zaza Ali is a habitual liar. I was in communication with one because she used to do these retreat scams. I don't know what she's doing these days. God bless her. I hope she's doing a lot better. But back then, she was just scamming. Hey, I was in contact with this, this uh, young lady who uh, signed up for and it was on the news, too. I can pull that up, too. The young lady that, that uh, sent money in for this uh, uh, retreat. She had done a couple of them and, and just collected the money, and never had them. And she says it, it was so bad. And she said, thank you for doing that series. It was so bad because. When all of this happened, her assistant contacted me and said that she was in a car accident and broke her leg and this whole big. And she said she was so sad about it that she started crying. I said that's that. And, and none of it was true. Just lying, habitual liar, just be lying over and over and over again. Whenever people do that, people, you got to take a step back. You should not be believing in people who lie. I have an aversion for people who lie. I can't I just can't stand it. Just tell the truth. If you're wrong, you're wrong. You're right, you're right. Uh, if you're doing something that you know you're not supposed to, just tell the truth. Don't get up there lying. But well, Umar is a habitual liar. He even lied about the uh, renovations being complete. And I will prove that here again, even though I already proved I'm prove it again. Uh, thanks, Barry. I'm sorry, I done gone off. We were talking about the Air Cavalry Academy. <laughs> I done talked about all kinds of stuff. Thank you for the super chat. Hasa says, we can all eat poofu off of Umar's kente call picnic table for sure. <laughs> Sometimes he he puts stuff on, and I I don't, I don't know. It's, it, it looked like he had it in a suitcase, you know. I I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, Hasa. I, I think because because someone sent me a they been, people sent me all kinds of stuff. They sent me a link to a video where he's talking about forgiving your parents or something like that. And I think his mama kicked him out, or so they done got evicted again, one or the other. And I think he's upset about it. That's why he was so he's been so mad. You remember we were trying to figure out why he was so mad? That's what I think. I don't know this to be true, but it's happened before. We got to get to that video. Man, maybe I need to live stream tomorrow just so we can kind of get caught up on that. We'll see. Don't hold me to it. Okay. Uh yeah, but sometimes he, he dresses and the way he dresses is just out of control. And uh, oftentimes the clothes are, are not even uh, kept well, you know, I've seen him wearing dirty clothes. I've seen him wearing clothes that are all wrinkled up and that's fine too. Cause it's not like I'm ironing my clothes, but at least I try to look halfway uh, decent, you know? Uh, but he'll get up there and it's sad, you know, so, cause if, if anyone, if you just look at this and you, you didn't know who Umar was, what would you say? You see what I'm saying? And not just what he has on, how he's looking, but just the back background and how that's looking. If you consider all this stuff, what would you say? See? And he, he can take it. I'll put that right there on that table and, and go ahead and do that. Eat, eat some foo foo. That's that, that meal. Thanks, I was supposed to chat. A uh, guy to inform the AK says, What happened to the movie? I don't know whom I was supposed to be in the movie. I don't know if it ever premiered or anything like that. If anyone has any information on that, let me know. I have no idea. It was supposed to be like a romance movie or something like that. And there was a stress, a, uh, a trailer to it and it was I said, No, no, oh, goodness gracious. I, I, so I have no idea if anyone has any information on that please let me know let us know in the chat room uh thanks for super chat 
Uh, Vegan Sports Bar uh, says Copernicus <laughs> Tuesday. I, I'm so tempted to play that snippet as he was like, we're going to have an observatory up on the roof. That way, our kids, they can see the see set the surface of planets. That technology does not exist to date. And I'm into sci-fi. To date, it does not exist. You can't have an observatory. There's no observatory on the planet Earth, as Umar says, this month. No Earth this month that you can look through today that you can see the surface of any other planet out there. The actual surface. Now, you can see, you know, a, a ball, you know, a, you know, a, a sphere, but I'm talking about the actual surface. <laughs> That's a rock right there. That's a rock right there. That's a rock right there. there you know, uh -uh. none of that. Anyway, money says Umar. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Host of the cook says he also said uh, he wanted all the single mothers of the kids to cook him lunch every day and bring it to him. He prayed. Well, I remember that. I remember that. And you're right. He does. He, he the part of this whole thing is, is, is about single mothers, the black women who's has they have children and in particular sons. Uh, but in general, just to have children in particular sons and their, fa their fathers aren't around. So Umar presents himself as a savior figure. And that's that's one of the major selling points for this whole school scam, going all the way back to the St. Paul school scam and going all the way back to 2010 when he said he was gonna open FDMG, he said it was gonna open September 11, 2013. It's a decade late, but that was one of the major selling points to get black women who are, who, you know, they're struggling, maybe they, the, the, the daddy ain't around, they got these kids, they want their sons to be in the presence of a, of a quote unquote good black man and Umar's gonna open up this school, it's gonna be a boarding school so that potentially the children, the child, the boy, they won't have to be in living in, in the hood in some cases. So it's a selling point. This is such a, a devious scheme, if you really think about it. It's devious. And there are women who bought into that and that's why they sent the money and they kept being supportive of Umar. A lot of those women aren't around anymore. Some of them used to appear in those videos. Where, where all those women go? I can pull up today. I can pull up a video today that when Umar per first purchased these abandoned buildings back in February of 2019, and he had these people up there, and all these women following around. There was a couple of men too, but they were so rah rah rah. Well, we are we are. I haven't seen any of them. None. Because he uses and abuses, and then he discards. That's what he does. He uses. He's a user. He's an abuser, and then he's a discarder. He'll just discard them, and that's it. But see, a lot of these women, the reason why they were supportive of Umar in the first place is because they had sons and in some cases daughters or both. And they wanted to somehow get give their sons or daughter an opportunity to be at this school. And they're going to be black power and we're going to teach them how to float ships and we're going to teach them how to eat good. And we're going to teach them how to plant their own vegetables and how to come up with uh, medical concoctions to where they can uh, 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 to knock that cold right out. He's this type of stuff he was saying. So, yeah, this this has been. Uh, a part of this scheme from the beginning. And not only did he get money from these black women uh, who uh, were in dire straits and w wanted their sons or in, in some cases their daughters to have a better opportunity, he also got the draws. And that's even worse, in my opinion. And so, hey, hey, how's it going? Okay, I'll pop. Let me to pop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're going trick or treat. Yeah, should I put a sign up on the door? Okay. Huh? No, they them kids, they don't need nothing. They, they uh. <laughs> I'll be getting texts from her like after like a minute late. Uh, yeah, this they're going trick or treat. I think this is the first time. No, this ain't the first time they're going. The younger one's the first time they're going trick or treat. Okay. Okay, uh, did I get to it? Okay, I think I got to all, all super chats. Thank you all so much. And also, thanks to everyone who, who've been uh, supportive. I, I, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful. Okay. All right. So let's get back to it. We're going to take a look at the FDMG chickens. No, Umar did say that they were going to have an FDMG farm. And, and he even said that, I kid you not, I wanted to cook for a chat. If you remember this, hit the one. One time he said that they were going to go and dig up the grave sites of black. I don't know, uh, black people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she can come right now. Uh, 
he was talking about how uh, they were going to take uh, dig up the, the grave sites of, of black people who were well known or whatever. And they were going to have an FMG graveyard and they're going to rebury them up there at these trap bandits. Hit the one. I mean, how is that for Halloween? Hit the one. If anybody remembers that, that that's one of the things I said, this guy's crazy. And he was talking about how he needed a queen. He needed queens that was going to rock with him on that and that they y'all was going to get up there and help him dig up, exhume these bodies. This is Trilla. Night. Oh, how's that? How? Oh, yes. <laughs> FMG Young Organic Warmers. <laughs> oh, wow. We already had 660. So I got to put another light up. Y'all, man, you guys, my goodness gracious. I might have, I might have to take my shirt off in a minute due to do the, the Donkey Kong. <laughs> Umar's a necromancer. <laughs> No, I'm serious, B Legend. I'm not making it up. I am not making it up. Look at all these. How's it going, Lady Marie? Jimmy Jambree. Look at all. <laughs> G funeral. Look, I know it's illegal. Yes, I could. I could find it. I could find it. He was. He was in a cemetery at the time. I can't. I can't you not. <laughs> he did, Levi. I just want people to know I ain't making none of this up. I can pull it up. But if I start pulling up videos, we're gonna be here for a month. <laughs> Listen, Deadshot AR, I kid you not. All right. I can want the weirdest things. And we going I can't even remember how he phrased it, but I'll sit back like this guy is nuts. <laughs> they call it Mercy D. I ain't making none of this up. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you. I kid you not. I can pull it up. Some of y'all, some people don't believe me. Je Jesus Christ, how's it going? He has me in the building. Okay, Dr. Savage used it, but too. I could pull it up, but I ain't going to do it because we're going to be here too long, okay? <laughs> Bury me in the brown fields. That's one of Umar Johnson's projects. Yeah, fam, you got to bury these ancestors in the brown fields. <laughs> FMG is a brownfield catalyst site officially, to be tell y'all if y'all don't know that too. All right. Oh, we only got 267 likes now. Oh, y'all tripping. That's okay. All right. Um, oh, you were looking at the wrong screen. Oh, okay. I was about to get excited. Okay. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and play this as we moving off. We already got 700 people in the building. Y'all hit the like button. I appreciate it. Here we go. Shout out to all my Queens, all my African Queens from around the world, especially my natural headed African Queens, because they rep represent the revolutionary vanguard of traditional African beauty. I said, natural head, black women represent the revolutionary vanguard of traditional African beauty. I said natural haired black queens represent the revolutionary vanguard of traditional African standards of beauty. Brothers and sisters, I'm getting ready for Jersey City debut Tuesday night, six to nine. I will be in Jersey City, New Jersey for the first time. Urban League of Hudson County, all my New Jersey Africans pull up for the grand debut. The Prince of Pan-Africanism at the Urban League, Jersey City, New Jersey. Omaha, Nebraska, December the 2nd. Omaha, Nebraska, December the 2nd. Omaha, Nebraska. Chicago, Illinois, November the 16th. Chicago, Illinois, November the 16th. Chicago, Illinois, November the 16th. Memphis, Tennessee, Thanksgiving weekend. Memphis, Tennessee, Thanksgiving weekend. Memphis, Tennessee, Thanksgiving weekend. Akapong Kingdom of Jamaica, January the 6th. Akapong Maroon Kingdom of Akapong. I never heard that before. Jamaica, January the 6th. Akapong Maroon Kingdom of Jamaica, January the 6th. Who's coming to the Akapong Maroon Kingdom of Jamaica for Maroon Festival? Up in the mountains with the revolutionary Maroon family of Jamaica. Maroon Festival, January 6th. King Kong pulling up. And then the next day, it's all about Panama, Central American debut. The next. Yeah, uh, this Latoya, this, this footage, I believe is from like, uh, I want to say two weeks ago, uh, something like two or three weeks ago, something like that. I, I have no idea. Who's still you, I have the, I think this is the video. Y'all want me to play the video where Umar was talking about he was at a grave site? Hit the one if you want me to do it. I, I'm going to let this play. But if y'all want me to do it, I can put it. I think I have it right here. It, this may not even be it, but, it, but it, and it's quick. It's brief. I can just show it to you. Let me know. Day is all about Panama, Central American debut. 
January the 7th to the 10th, Black Star Line Steamship Corporation Regeneration Conference, Panama City, Panama, Central American Pan Africanist, Panama, Cin Panama City, Panama, Panama Central American Pan. He said Panama Cinnabons. <laughs> No, no, Ben, don't bring in, don't bring in the hobbits into this now. Don't do that. <laughs> you know the hobbits are well loved, family. <laughs> What's up, John Ari? So it looks like, yeah, it looks like people want. It's Halloween, yes. It looks like people, yeah. This would be perfect. I should have had this. I, I should if I thought about, it, I would have, I would have did an intro video and had this in it for Halloween. It's been perfect. Okay, people, y'all want to? I give y'all what you want. I get a cookie crust chat. What you want? And what you need, family, because it's back to back Memphis, family, back to back Memphis, Memphis, this moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm, everybody want to see it. East Beast, they go on ahead. Okay. Now, I think this is it, and I could be wrong because I have a whole bunch of videos of Umar in the grave site. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I got a gang of videos of him hanging out in the grave site, <laughs> but we're going to play this one because I think this is the one right here. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna do a screen share here. Let's see. Let me know if y'all can hear it. Is it playing? Nobody talking about it now. See, y'all quiet. The Queens is quiet now. Quiet now. Why y'all get so quiet, ladies? See, this is the real work. Y'all just want to come to lectures and look cute. Y'all just want to come to lectures and look cute. Oh, no, this is the work. This is the work. Out here in the cold, 20 degrees, okay. digging up ancestors. Who want to get married to the Prince of Pan-Africanism now? See, this is the real work. Not YouTube videos. Talk Not YouTube videos. He's talking about me and the cook right chat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. That's the road. It goes in another direction. <laughs> He's trying to find a grave, a tombstone in the grave site. You should curl around. <laughs> this is y'all curl around. That's the split. The split is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Listen, family. Come this on. is this is Doro Explorer type. You know, like tomb. What was the the the, the video game from back? Lower Croft, Croft, Lower Craft, Croft. What was it? Uh, Lower Croft. Tomb Raider. <laughs> That's right. This one, he got an actual map. He looked like he drew it himself. He was at home. He, he, he said, let me get my crowns. He, he said, mama. <laughs> she said, what? Where are my crowns, mama? Where are my crowns? <laughs> okay. You got your own flashlight? You guys look good. And you guys can uh, put the light thing on. What light? On your phone. Oh, okay. So mine's not going to go? It doesn't work. Okay. Have fun. Sorry, are you not going to be cold? She's fine. Okay. <laughs> they about to go get this with Candace. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess. Uh, okay, you can leave it on. I guess fine. Yeah, the neighborhood we live at, people be living, they, they they leave everything outside. It's real nice, and I can't believe we live here. I said, thank the Lord Jesus, thank you. Hey, people, they, they leave all kind of stuff out. They just leave it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that was a nice grill, one of them real nice grills sitting out. I said, huh? <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even, it was just sitting out there. Like, yeah, you know, it's probably still out there. All right. Uh, let me, let me get back to it. Uh, oh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Someone just sent me a uh, message on. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me, people have been sending me so much stuff. Let me just play a little of this. And then we're going to get to it. It's Halloween. Okay. Here we go. Right there. Okay. This is. Hold on. We can't. Damn, where my car at? 
Okay, my car is all the way back there. So the car, okay, we was this way. Two is above the road. This is the road. But then the road curls. The road curls right there. He's so ridiculous. He's in the cut, so he's over here somewhere. He's talking about the, the, uh, the dead person. I don't even know who it is, but he's looking for a dead person. This is the Goonies, man. <laughs> the Goonies. That's what it is. It just keeps pausing. He had bad Wi-Fi in the cemetery, evidently. Jane McCune Smith. Here we go. Dr. James McCune Smith. That's right, brothers and sisters of the New York African Free School. Look at that. It's so ridiculous because he's yelling and screaming, no respect for the dead. He's video recording himself at the same time. No respect whatsoever. Look at that. This is another great ancestor. He talking about some who? Do your research. This brother right here was an abolitionist, friend of Frederick Douglass, Underground Railroad, started one of the first schools in New York to teach black folks. What are y'all talking about? Look at this. I'm finding ancestors looking for other ancestors. I'm finding ancestors looking for other ancestors. I'm finding ancestors. This is one of the greatest black men to ever live. Dr. James McHugh Smith. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research. That's right. Look him up. This is one of the greatest black leaders ever. And he was from New York City. But all y'all know is rappers. All y'all know is rappers. Look up Dr. James McCune Smith in the African Free School of New York and the Underground Railroad of no, New York. No, no, he up. don't. He he don't know none of these people personally. But see, this is behavior that Umar. It's one of the weirdest things I've I've ever seen. It really is. It's one of the weirdest things. The idea of someone I'm going to go and live stream at cemeteries and I'm just going to be picking black people who are well known. I mean, that's ultimate cloud chasing, isn't it? That's the ultimate cloud chasing. And he's been, I can pull up videos from a decade ago where Umar's up at grave sites. Back then, he didn't look like he looked in this. This is from 2020, but he still does this in 2020. I, I, I don't know if he's done it in 2023 because I took an eight month break off from this guy. I had to take a break. Um, but I have videos of him where he's at different grave sites. Marcus Garvey, uh, not Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass grave site, and he's leaning up there. He got people up there with him and he's just leaning up against it with his hand on, just leaning up against the the, tomb, the tombstone. No respect whatsoever. He's not related. He said he's related, but he's not. His daddy took a DNA test and he came back that they they're not uh, related genetically. There's no genetic match whatsoever. He has no respect whatsoever. None. Look him up. That's right. Now where's Alexander Crump? I'm hyped now. I'm hyped now. Where's you? Where you at, Doctor Crummel? Where you at? I know you around here, cause Dicko, your homie, right there. We done found one great ancestor looking for another one. Lord have mercy. Your homie, huh? Come on, Alexander homie. Crummel. Come on, Baba. Where you at? Where you at, Baba? Come on. You got to be around here. We just found your homie, so I know you around here. This is crazy. I know you around here. Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, brother. Don't you count me out. Don't you ever count out the Prince of Pan-Africanism. I done found two great ancestors today. That's right. This is one of the gods of Pan-Africanism. I said, this is one of the gods of Pan-Africanism, <laughs> the Bishop Alexander. Where's Trump. security? Oh, and he does have a grave. And he does have a grave. Look at that. Reverend Alexander Crummel, born he is. He's, in New York. Weird. He gets so March excited. March 3rd, 1819. And he died September 19, 1898. <laughs> I don't, know. I, I don't right. know, Chris. I have no idea. I, I don't. That's right. Oh, yes. Let me go get some water. Pour my libation and get back to Philly. Let me go get some water out the car. See, don't ever count me out. Just like y'all counting me out with FDMG. <laughs> Here you go, swinging that arm like our like harpo. We about to shock the world. Let me go get my water so I can do a quick libation. That's right. Don't ever count me out. I done found two of them. I done found two of them. The ancestors is rejoicing. Just yelling. Look at the skies. 
Look at the sky, the winds of Oya, brothers and sisters. I done found two. That's right. This is the type of work you're going to do. You're going to be my wife. You want to get like your this. damn hands dirty. This ain't no cute come to the lecture shit. You say that for the YouTubers. Nah, you're going to get in the ground on some Winnie Mandela shit and get your hands dirty. Oh, yes. You're talking about digging up Oh, grave. yes. Dig them up and bring them to FDMG. Let's do an FDMG burial ground for all the great African ancestors. Bring them all to one place. King Kong consciousness. See, everything I say, I can back it up with a receipt. I was telling you, Umar Johnson followers, y'all think I'm new to this because you just see, because I've I been seeing the comments, but I, I have um, grace. I have grace. I've been dealing with people that's Umar supporters for such a long time. And I've dealt, and I, I, I understand, like, you, you deal with people long enough into, into this thing. It's, it's like a cult. I'm not saying that you're in a cult. I'm saying it's like a cult, the mentality. And I've dealt with it so long that I have grace for you all. But you have to understand one thing, that whatever I say about Umar, I can back up with the receipt. And I, and I know Umar better than you do. I've studied this guy. If they gave out degrees on Umar, I would have the PhD, not the associates, not the bachelors, not the masters. I would have the PhD. That's not a statement of arrogance. I'm saying that I've done my research. I have all the receipts and I can pull it up. Some people didn't believe what I was saying that he was talking about how they were going to dig up the bodies of these at these grave sites and then uh, bury them at FDMG. Some people remember that because they've been around a long time. There's people have never heard that. And they were just somebody in the chat and they're like, no, that can't be true. Well, I just showed you. And see, my mind works. I can say something. I say, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I remember what video that is. Let me go pull it up. I got my notes too. Let me go pull that up. Do a quick search. Boom. I take, sometimes it takes a long a while to get it. Sometimes it takes the next day in some cases. Some stuff a little harder to find. But in general, I, I get back uh, with it. Someone has said, can you play? The video from the block party where they were, this was uh, last week, uh, the, where they were singing Eighth of a Jar. I said, I got to find it. I know what video it is. I got to find the video. And I, and I found the video and I have it. If I remember today, I'm going to play it. I know Umar better than you, Umar Johnson followers. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to do a service for you so that you know Umar well. And then you can make an informed decision as to whether you're going to support and defend this guy. And you can, you can still do it. There's plenty of people who do. That's your, that's your decision. Okay. Let's, let's get to some of these super chats and then we're going to get back to the video. And then we're going to get to the video for tonight. We already have 48 minutes. Got 800 people in the building. Thank you all so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, money. I got that one. All right. He also said he wanted all a single. Uh, let's, oh, yeah. I already got that one too. Thank you for the super chat. Vegan sports bar. Uh, yeah. Uh, Barry, yeah, I got that one. Thank you, East B. Keep, yep. Oh, East B says keep the good work. Thank you so much, East B. Thank you so much for super chat and the kind words as well. I appreciate that. Truth using, Truth using logic says Umar has a habit of reading off dates and events he never attends just to seem important. Yes, this has been going on for many, many years. I've talked about this a long time ago. See, because back in the day, Umar used to post events and dates he would actually put the date he would, he would write the date first and then what the event was that he's supposedly speaking at and he would do this all the time some of y'all remember this hit the one he doesn't I don't, I don't think he does that these days not like, at least not like he used to but but the idea was he wanted to present himself as if he's doing all these speaking engagements and that he's booked okay this ties to the whole SETI rant too i'm booked i'm booked right it was an illusion because in my research, what I would start to do is I would take the dates that he said he was going to be speaking and then I would look at where he was supposed to be speaking. And in some cases, he would put an address and in some cases he wouldn't put an address. And in some cases, he'll put an address with the time. In some cases, he would put an address with no time. Sometimes he, would put, he wouldn't put an address or any time. And I was thinking to myself, what's the point in posting all of that if you're not given all of the information that someone would need in order for them to attend, right? Well, what I found was that over time, the events where he posted the actual location uh, and the date 
in some in some cases he would put it rarely though but some cases he would put a phone number those were actual events that he would speak at because video would surface of him speaking there he would do videos himself there he would do videos where he's getting there all this type of thing because he, he used to he used to do this all the time the events where he would just post that some event was taking place uh and there would be uh no time or no uh address this is stuff that he just makes up and put on there just to make it seem as if he's quote unquote booked this this is the type of thing umar he did this for a long time he don't do that these days he doesn't do that these days. I, I haven't seen him doing that. But for many years, that's what he would do. And I said to myself, this guy, it, it's just he it, it's it's self-aggrandizement. Look how because he used to say I'm the most requested. Well, he had to prove that. Right. And how does he prove it? He would just make up fake dates and say this is what I'm going to be. And then it got really bad at to a point where in addition to he was listing events that he wasn't even speaking at as uh, that, that weren't taking place. Like there was no event. But then he would also post events that were like community events. And as if he was going to be the keynote or that he was going to be speaking, and he was, and he would, in some cases, he would just attend. He'd be in the audience. In most cases, he wouldn't even attend. The shenanigans of this guy, it, it's, it's, it's extreme. And I followed this. I know this. And you, Umar Johns follows. Trust me, I'm not going to get up here and lie on this. I know people who lied on Umar over and over and over again. I never liked that. Never liked that. I don't support it. I don't, I don't believe in that. It's wrong. People lied about me. I, if I don't like doing to others, if people going to lie on me and make up all kind of crazy stuff and I don't appreciate that, why would I do that to Umar? I wouldn't do that to Umar. Listen, I'm going to tell you, there's a part of me that cares about Umar simply because I want him to get his life together. All this other stuff that he's doing, I don't like it, but I want him to get his life together because nobody wants to see uh, someone uh, going down this trajectory in life. And there was a point where I was down and out big time. Some of y'all remember that. But it's not enough to continue to do what we were doing to get down and out we got to make changes and that's what i want for umar so i'm not gonna get up here and lie lie on the guy and if i say that he said something or that he did something i have receipts to prove it i know more about umar than you my johnson followers know about umar y'all follow him okay well i tell you and i'm not trying to to be mean to you my johnson because i have compassion for y'all and i have grace and i want the best for you in your life i'm just telling y'all that umar uh he is a scammer He's a con artist and he's a habitual liar. Okay, so just be careful. All right. All right. I'm sorry for going off truth using logic, uh, but a lot of people don't remember that. I remember that clearly because we talked about it. And, and, and he doesn't, he doesn't, I haven't seen him doing that at, like he used to. It, I remember sometimes he would say that he's going to Africa, you know, and it's going to be like for three weeks or whatever. And then that, that th those three weeks come up and he's still here in the United States of America <laughs> because he's live streaming all the time. I mean, he up there at FDMG, talking, but you go back and go back three months ago, four, five, six months ago, he was posting how he's going to be in Africa during that time. But that's to make give the illusion that he's so important and that he's, that he's booked. All right. Thanks. You. Thanks for Super Chat. Uh, Danielle says, isn't desecrating graves? Yes. And and I just the, the thing is that for Umar to be up there yelling and, and screaming into a phone and even live streaming in the, in the first place, you don't do that. You know, it's just it's it's just it's a disgrace. It's disrespectful to the people who passed away. It's disrespectful to their families. I said this long time ago, 800 people in the building hit the like button. I said this long time ago, I said, if Umar was up there in a grave site and he was up there because I, I even seen I remember one time he was tapping on the grave site like this. And I said, don't just don't do that. I think it was Trayvon Moore. And he was tapping on it, doing like this and slapping on it. And, and I said to myself, uh, if, if that one, if any of y'all, if you saw Umar up there and he was live streaming doing that and and, and you see him doing it and then he pans down and, and he shows the name of the tombstone and it's one of your ancestors. How would you feel about that? Maybe it's your grandmama or your granddaddy or your great grandmama, your great grand. Maybe it's a cousin, whatever. But how would you feel about that? See, he has no respect for anybody. And he's been doing this grave tombstone, Laura Croft stuff for years. It, it's sick. It's not normal human behavior. I don't get up and say, you know what? I'm going to go to grave site and live stream today. No. Anyway, okay. Thanks for Super Chat. Louis X, so what happened to the bus company he was starting? Big Papa bus lines. Can you imagine Umar rolling up in a bus hair <laughs> not comb food in his beard? Come on, y'all. And they try to take Papa's license. He's had so many different schemes. We're going to have a bus that's going to pick people up, bring them to FDMG. We're going to do a book. We're going to do a book. It's going to be called The Rules of Romance. I can pull up the receipt right now. He's collecting donations for it. He was collecting pre-orders for it. I could pull it up right now. Let me pull it up. 
Oh, no. There you go. Look. Big Papa book release coming soon for Sisters Only, The Rules of Relationship Romance. Dr. Umar Johnson, Houston, Texas, for Sisters Only Relationships and Dating Breakfast Seminar, Shrine of the Black Madonna, September 11, 2016. Dallas, uh, Dallas for Sisters Only. Just get it, boy. It's hard, hard out here. It's hard out here. And look at the image. This is for black boys. No, this is about sex. Nothing more. It's a woman only brunch included. No jeans or sneakers. The rules of romance. No children. The brunch seminar. The rules of romance. No children. No jeans or sneakers. So if you want to put on a thong, come on down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to do it. I couldn't help it. He said we got prerequisites. You can't bring your kids. You can't do the jeans or the sneakers. You got to have on some red high heels and a thong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you got the blonde weed wig, bring it on down, family. Won't you come on down? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I went too far there. I apologize. Okay. There's a romance book. This is from 2016. All right. It's coming soon. This is June 16, 2016. Look what he's, this is from, my goodness gracious. He posted this, I have to show this, I apologize, but he posted this on his Instagram page. Why are you posting this, Umar? It says, happy birthday, Dr. Dr. Umar, you are the, the GOAT. <laughs> hey, big old, big old bloomer. <laughs> big old bloomers. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I, that's that's fine. But come on, man. Even if people women have sent you this, it could be a man that sent you this. Ain't no telling. It could be a man's. <laughs> you never know. You don't know who. But it, 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 even if it is a woman that sent you this, why are you posting it? See, because with Umar, he wants to be recognized in this way. And he's big papa. And it's always about sex. It's, a, it's a, such a shame. You got a so-called principal of a school. This is what he posting on his Instagram. Mm -mm. It's, it's, a, it's just it's a shame you remember he had documentary he was going to be coming out this is june 21st 2019 he was collecting donations for this for years see this so it's supposed to premiere right here in 2020 but if you do the research and you go back far enough okay here's 2019 you see that that right there says february 2020 but it's, it's on top of something else well let's look a little closer see how it's on top of something else well, that's because he just took a meme from way back in the day and just typed something over the top of it. Here's 2018. Here's 2016. Here's 2016. Here's 2015. And look right here. This is the meme that he wrote over the top of it. This is from March 25th, 2014. It's the shockumentary is coming. And it says it's coming to a theater near you fall of 2014. And he was collecting money for all of this because he was trying to be like uh, Tariq Nasheed. He has so many different scams, you know, buses and books and, you know, uh, college tours, all kind of stuff. We didn't even talk about the college tour scams. So it's ridiculous. I got all the receipts. That's what I'm saying. You more done followers. No, listen, I, I'm trying to help you all out. I already, I've done the research. Other people have too. Plenty of other people who have done the research. We just trying to get the information out to you so you can. Be informed and, and you can make the best decision for yourself. That's all. Okay. I love y'all. I, I ain't mad at nobody. I ain't mad at Umar. See, I, I want the best for him too. It says he can't get better in life if, until he stops doing what he's doing. See? Okay. Uh, thanks, Lewis, for Super Chat. I appreciate it. Iceman Vamp says, imagine you you visiting a family member's grave and they say, I know, absolutely. Absolutely. Boy, I, uh uh. And I don't go to graves and I don't go, I, don't, I can't handle funerals because I, if I go, it, it could be like someone I don't know. And if I see people crying, I just lose it. I just can't handle it. I don't like seeing people suffer like that. I just don't. But, but if, if, uh, I, if, let's say if I, I went for some reason and Umar up there yelling and screaming, uh uh, no, it's, it's just not right. You know, it's, it's not, it's not, it shows a lack of reverence. You know, in my opinion, it's unholy to do something like that. And he's he does this all the time. He's yelling and screaming. And then he has the audacity to live stream for thousands of people to see five, 10,000, 20, 30,000 people to see over time. See, 
It's wrong. It's weird, too, right? Uh, thanks, Iceman Vamp. For the ancestors, I said, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Look at the puppet, puppet D. <laughs> yeah, that's some of the weirdest. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, this is Umar. He's out there. He's definitely out there. He has no respect, too. Thanks for the super chat, Iceman Vamp. Thanks for the super chat, puppet D. Uh, Black Lily said, Lennon, you being uh, back makes me feel like a, vir a virgin. He touched for the. <laughs> uh, that's just, I, said, I said, what are you talking about? I said, oh, no, no, what? <laughs> He's talking about what you call it. Uh, what you call this song? Like a virgin uh, touched it for the very first time. <laughs> that's Madonna. I just let people know I'm still the virgin. Just, uh, just won't let y'all know. I'm still the virgin. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Black Black Willard. The Geo Scholar says, I think Umar was hard. I don't know. Sometimes he gets into these modes and he just starts, he just really just goes wild. And this is what it's a perfect example of that. Just out here yelling and screaming. Uh, thanks, Geo Scholar. Thanks, Black Willard. Thank, thanks, Puppet D. Thanks, Iceman Vamp Lewis Luck. And I think there's a couple more. Let me just get to these real quick and we get back to the video. I donate to Umar if he sold Kunta Kente for <laughs> <laughs> he might, he might, he might sell some Kuta Kente fries when that back black vegan sports bar open up. <laughs> you are John Fathers need to get with that one. I should pull that one up, but I'm not gonna do it because that was that, that's one of the cra that's probably one of the craziest things. Like I, I well, I shouldn't say it because he does he, he says some great stuff, but it's one of the most ridiculously humorous things that he's talked about where they were gonna open an all black vegan sports bar, and we laughed so hard on that, it was crazy. That was a turning point for for my shows when because we had so it was so funny and every, after that everything was just it was wild. Uh, thanks for super chat, good twin. Iceman Van says you will definitely lose brain cells going back and forth with Umar Fathers. Yeah, I don't I don't go back and forth uh, with Umar Johnson Fathers. The way I look at it is is that you're if you're gonna leave a comment disparaging me or if you're upset, I understand. You know, it's like belief systems. People have these false beliefs and they want to defend their beliefs. Um, it's not my job to change your mind. It's my job to present information for you to consider. And if you have an open mind, you consider it. And then after you consider it, you make the appropriate decision. You draw your own conclusion. But everything that I say, I can back up with evidence and proof when it comes to Umar and these the school scam, all the different shenanigans, is the sexual exploits of women, uh, the, the sexual debauchery that he talks about, how he talks about people, everything becomes sexualized. Comments that he's made about murdering black boys, comments that he's made where he said he wants to uh, have sleepovers with the black boys and he's he, uh, he going to lock them in inside the building and do a sleepover and comments he's made about he wants to cuddle with them by the fire. So I can prove each and everything that I'm saying here. So there's no need. I don't I don't uh, go back and forth with Umar Johnson fathers. I, I, I care for you all. I want the best for you. all. I just want you guys to be informed so you can make the best decision, you know. But beliefs are, are very difficult for people to break. And sometimes when you believe in things so strongly, you do it blindly and you keep going with the okie dokie. You keep going with the okie dokie and you don't consider the fact that you're basically being played. You're getting played by Umar. See, there's people in this chat room. They got played by Umar. See, there's people in this chat room who used to support Umar, but they've come to the realization of the truth that he's nothing more than a scammer. And he's been a scammer for He's been a troublemaker and a scammer for decades now, because even going back to UNIA days, I can pull up receipts on that troublemaker. Right. All right. Thanks, Iceman Vamp. The Geo Scholar says Umar at Graveyard, the freak came. <laughs> yeah, y'all remember that song? <laughs> we got two songs. We got the Madonna song. The freak came out at night. I don't remember who did the freak came out at night, though. Anybody remember chat room? But that was the jam back in the day. It's perfect. It's perfect for Halloween. Yeah. OK, thanks for all super chat. And New York City says, why does he say King Kong consciousness isn't his? And then a question uh, mark. Um, <clears throat> the irony of it. Um, King Kong was an ape. It was a gorilla, a huge gorilla who ultimately died because he pursued a white woman. And all of that is symbolic, too, because that played into negative racial stereotypes about black people and African pe people, more specifically African males, African men, black men, et cetera, and how they were all out to get because he steals the white woman. They're all out to, to steal the white women and, and blah, blah, blah. But that's really what the symbolic representation of King Kong was. You got to go back and watch the old black and white movie. And that's a racist. You know, that was extremely racist time. And in media during that time, movies and stuff, a lot of depictions about Africans as savages, et cetera. Well, King Kong represents that savagery. 
and the symbolic representation of black men. And this black man who's a he's a beast and he's humongous, you know, he's a threat, et cetera. He ends up stealing this white woman and they have to bring in the army to kill him to save the white woman. Somehow, irony, Umar decides to call himself King Kong consciousness. And he talk all this stuff about Snow Bunny and this and white women and this and leading white women alone. And yet he calls them. See, the name he gave, gave himself as a moniker he gave himself because it makes him feel good. It makes him feel powerful. It's King Kong. Even though King Kong got caught up because he was, quote unquote, symbolically speaking, messing with the white women. So I tell you. It's just it's so twisted. He, got, he gave himself other names, too, but King Kong Conscious is probably is, is the biggest, the, the most primitive one that he called himself and people call him. He's just crazy. Exactly. Crazy horse. Hey, Lennon, welcome back. I've been waiting by my fire. Don't say that. Don't say that. Let's get, don't do that, crazy horse. Let's, and I listen, I could pull it up right now where Umar talking about he's going to have the boys up there late at night at the fireside and he's going to cuddle with them. I remember when, when I first heard that, I said, what? I said, I got to play that band. I played and I said, wait a minute. Most people ain't heard that because it was part of the Dr. Dr. Popper podcast. And someone sent it to me and they didn't say anything about that section of, of the, the audio. But they because they said, you got to hear this because he's talking about tuition. So I was listening to tuition to us. OK, he's all about tuition. But then it got to that part. I said, man, this guy. OK, but don't. So let's not bring anything up about no fire side. That's the last time. OK. All right. All right thank you all so much uh, for all the super chats. Let's get back to it. We got 800 people in the building. Let's get back to we don't need to go back to this. Right. Because he, he goes on for a little bit longer. But let's let's move on. I just want to prove the point. OK. If you guys want to look at the whole video, it's called Dr. Umar Johnson pays respect. OK, Dr. Umar Johnson pays respect. All right. So let's get back to the, uh, the original video. Here we go. This make sure you pull up. But this is what I want to say today. I want to talk to non biological step parents. I want to talk to the non biological step parents. Is this the right video? I want to talk to the non biological. If you are living with children that are not your own biological children. If you are the mother of biological children, excuse me, if you are the mother of children that are not your biological children, if you are uh, the father of children right video. who just, are not your biological man. children, I need to holler at you for a minute. Okay, hold, hold on one second, because I, I don't want to waste time. Let me make sure this is the right video. It's Okay, that's not. I was I was running. I'm, I'm playing it wrong. We're going to come back to that one, though. Uh, no, wait a minute. No, we're not supposed to do that video. I, I don't know why I haven't had that. This is the video... Uh, right here. Hold on one second. I apologize, everybody. Because I thought he was he was looking real. He had on this sh other shirt. And I remember I was looking like this is looks so ridiculous. And this just to prove that he lied about renovations being done. Here it is right. Here. I apologize. everybody. I have messed up the show. Here we go. Oh, that one came out today. Yeah, someone sent it to me uh, and I, I had it in the folder, but I wasn't planning on getting to it today. We, we I don't think we're going to have time to get to it. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. I'll, I'll have to figure it out. OK, I, I just I got to do overtime. It's mandatory. So I got to go into work and I got to do it before Thursday. So maybe if I, I don't know. No, I could still do it on Thursday. I, I'll figure it out tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you all know. We got so much to get caught up on. Okay, so, but I don't want to get into that other video, video today. That's, that's probably something that we should get into separate because I have a whole other thing I want to get to. So let me, let me play this one right here. Here we go. See, he ain't never doing nothing. Just laying, I don't even know what he did. Just laying in the bed or whatever. He probably in a hotel. That's what it looked like. I mean, that ain't, that's not his mama Claus, but he had no bed in there. He just had some stuff up on the wall. <laughs> don't you come on down? You know, the sad part as we wait for him to speak is that he could have built a, a good life for himself. He has uh, allegedly six degrees. I know he has at least four. I know I can verify that. But he says six. Maybe he does. Maybe he don't. I think at this point it's irrelevant because if you have six, you should be able to, to make a good life for yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, it's going, Harold. Here we go. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism. 
peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. Peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness. One week back from Cameroon. Shout out to my Cameroonian Africans. Shout out to my Cameroonian Africans, my Limbe Africans, my Bimbia Africans, my Douala Africans, my Central Africans, Central African Republic Africans, my Congolese Africans, my... <laughs> Why does he always got to do it? My Togolese Africans. I'm, I'm my... tired of this. I, I want to let me just skip through after he get done through his introduction. He does this every Ghanaian time. Ghanaian Africans, my not to the greatest revolutionary in American history. Happy 223rd Earth Day to the greatest revolutionary in American history. Happy 223rd Earth Day from the greatest revolutionary in African history. Omaha, Nebraska, December 2nd. Omaha, Nebraska. I want to see all my Nebraska Africans on December 2nd. All my Omaha, Nebraska Africans on December 2nd. All my Omaha, Nebraska Africans on December 2nd. I'm sorry. Sorry, I had to unmute. What is what is summer sausage African? <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> he got to be rubbing on his chest. Memphis, all right. Tennessee. <laughs> Thanksgiving weekend, Memphis, Tennessee. Thanksgiving weekend, Memphis, Tennessee. Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'm not going to be too long. I got to get ready to head on over to the Nat Turner Library. If you pull it up, Virginia, pull up. I want to see my Hampton Africans today, my Richmond Africans today. I want to see my go. Petersburg Africans today, my Norfolk oh, Africans, man. my Suffolk I, I, I Africans, my Virginia Beach it. Africans. Everybody pull up to the Nat Turner Library today. 26070 Barham's Hill Road. 26070 Barham Hill Road. 26070 oh, Barham's Hill Road. B A R H A. I wish I had a timestamp. Barham's Hill Road. O'clock. If you want to go on. There's a few things we have to repair. Okay, here we go right here. Remember, he said the renovations are complete. I think he's talking about, about it right here. So let's see what he said. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Syracuse University, October 25th. Syracuse University, October the 25th. Brothers and sisters, I want to say this quick announcement. FDMG, we had the HVAC inspection. No. Oh. FDMG, we had the HVAC inspection. FDMG, we had the HVAC inspection. And there's a few things we have to repair. There's a few things we have to repair in order to pass the HVAC Here inspection. Here we go. I told y'all. And we had our pre-building inspection. The inspector told us a couple things we got to work on for the building. So with that being said... It's nothing major. Most of the repairs are straightforward. Most of the repairs are straightforward. But with that being said, we will not. We will not be having the grand opening Kwanzaa week. You I already know that. I already told people that. What are you talking about, man? Stop. This is ridiculous. I'm insulted. You, Mark John Falls, you really follow? You believe this? I told people, I told people years ago, hit the one. I need some credit tonight. Hit the one tonight. I told people years ago that this is exactly what was going to happen. And here we go. I wonder if he's going to outline what needs to be done. He's probably not going to do it. Look at all the ones in here. <laughs> you going to go up there? <laughs> It's it is. It's insulting at this point. There's always something. There's always some hang up. It's always something. It's the black contractors. It's Brother Jose. It's the Cookie Crush Chat. It's Lino Horror. It's it's always something. I know Cookie Crush Chat crazy. <laughs> you still believe, huh? Okay. <laughs> you remember remember the good twin? He looked at Umar in that interview. He was like, what? Ruwa was saying how he was going to take the school to Africa. <laughs> you guys back already? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take it off right here. Yeah, I told I told y'all. I told y'all way in, in advance. Yeah, I know it did. I told y'all. I mean, it's like it. Yeah. It's the same thing over and over again. What's up, Ex Freeman? Brian's in the building. Okay, I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm gloating here a little bit, but I, I, I want my credit. I just, that's, you know, yeah, I know it's canceled. Mickish, it's canceled every year. Every year he's gonna say, "Listen, I don't even, I don't even have to say it." Ooh, uh, Cookie Crush Chat, what does he say about Kwanzaa every, every single year? What does he call it? And it never happens. Okay, every, everyone knows this. Truth, truth, uh, science base still believes. <laughs> That's why your eyes look like that. <laughs> you know, stuff. Eyes looking like Jay Morrison. <laughs> yeah, he needs to outline what the renovation still needs to be done. Well, what does he say every single year? Is everybody up already? Okay. Uh, what does he say every single year about uh, about uh, the 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 quant? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a week of Black Kwanzaa. Dominique, no. <laughs> he said he calls it seven days of Kwanzaa every single year, and it never happens. <laughs> it's canceled because it's, they ain't got no HVAC up there. It's, it's, we can't do it this time. We got to wait the next month. <laughs> he said we got to wait the next month. <laughs> okay. Every single year he says this, and it never happens. All right, let's see what else he's saying. Ooh, you can I'll free your Kwanzaa wow. calendar, brothers and sisters. Go ahead and free up your Kwanzaa calendar. <laughs> ain't nobody put none of that on the counter anyway. They know you ain't going to have it. Stop playing. We will not be having a community grand opening. How we doing all, How we doing on likes? Because let's we have to get let these repairs get done. It's only a couple down. things, but repairs are slow. Repairs come slow. No, my So goodness. because of that, we're going to push back off the Kwanzaa grand opening. Go ahead and free your Kwanzaa up. How how are you going to do a Kwanzaa grant opening for a school? With the children going to start school in December? Going into January? Is that what he's saying? Because uh, holiday, they're going to come for, what, a week? And then go on holiday break? There's still mold all over the place, bro. What are you talking about? This We already looked at all the video last week and yesterday. I, I can't believe this guy. He just he just be he, he lies so much it's ridiculous. It don't even make no sense. It don't it don't even make sense. I'll be going on the Kwanzaa tour. I'll be going on the Kwanzaa tour. I'll be going on the Kwanzaa tour. This is what we're gonna do. What you gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. What you gonna do? New Year's Day. We got 90 days. New Year's Day. <sighs> it's the same thing over and over again. What it, what what I find more insulting is that he wants people to believe an inspect inspector was up in the abandoned building. This is insane. Why didn't he videotape the inspection process? He filmed over. Yeah, I know. I know. He just it's just he's a habitual liar. Why would he have an inspector come up there anyway when there's the ceilings are the tiles and the ceilings all mi missing and there's mold all over the place. The, 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 uh, there's trash here there. There's stuff turned over furniture. Why would he have an inspector come over there anyway? And we're not even talking about the gym. The gym ain't gonna never pass because there's a foundation issue with the big old bump in the in the floor. That's a foundation issue from water damage because they had water coming up through that pipe. Why would he? Why would he have an inspection? It makes no sense. But he'll say that because what does it do? Again, it, it you Mar John's fault. You follow. I mean, you you pay attention here. Okay, I'm gonna learn you something real quick. He do, he's been doing this for years where he's coming up with different things, problems in order to delay the grand opening. He's he does, he's never going to open, okay? Because he wants us to keep going so he can keep, keep getting money out of y'all. I ain't giving him nothing. I got five kids. You can best believe I ain't sending this guy no money, okay? It's not going to happen. Some of y'all got it like that. You want to just give him, send some money. That's your business. That's fine. That's okay. Go on ahead and do it. But understand that there will be no school because he's been doing this for years. He's had these properties for four and a half, over four and a half years now. He's been talking about school going to open for over for over 13 years. So, no, he didn't have no inspection because he would have videotaped it. And he'd be like, yeah, haters, what y'all think now? What y'all, Lenor, what you think? Cookie crush chat, cookie crush chat, cookie crush chat, what y'all think now? That's what he would have been doing. 
He's such he he lying right. He so he lies over and over and over and over again. I'll say it three, four times like Uma. Now he coming up with another excuse, another plan. It's gonna be an excuse, and I guarantee it ain't gonna happen. Watch. Hey, we got ninety days. New Year's Day, we got ninety days. I'm going to make the announcement on whether we're going to have the grand opening Black History Month, February, or if we're going to do the grand opening in the spring when it's warm. Can somebody give me an update on the lights, please? Please, if you can, if you can please give me an update on the lights. I just I have to just get up for a second. I have to. Up here sniffing, sniffing, just and man, you know, when we do that, we 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 will I don't mean to get be talking like that, but we'll go to and outside and spit it out. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, but that's what we'll spit it out, go through the bathroom, spit it out. Sometimes we spit in the toilet. Man. Don't tell the women, they don't like that. Man. What you know. What what does Umar do? I said, nah. Nah, bro, I'm in the bed right now. I ain't, I ain't gonna do none of that, bro. I'm in the bed. That's the guy you guys gonna send your boys to. And man, listen, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, it, it, it's, you know, women don't like it, but we do it. But one thing we don't do, we don't do that. Okay. Black History Month, February. Or if we're going to do the grand opening in the spring when it's warm and you can let me know your opinion what is your opinion? okay almost at 400 okay should we have the grand opening trying to get in to black 450. history month because fdmg is black history so should we have the grand opening black history month fdmg don't even exist boy he up here sniffing and just nosing and all this boy. or should we wait till it's warm outside and have the indoor and outdoor at the same time should we go ahead and have the community grand opening in February, Black History Month? Or should we go ahead and wait two more months until spring and have the FDMG annual festival in what? the spring, indoor and outdoor? Let me know your thoughts. So is it a grand opening or are you doing another festival? He done switched it up already while he talking. What is he talking about? Are you going to have a festival in January? February? It's snowing. What are you talking about? It's the grand opening and the festival? Brothers and sisters. This guy, he Should don't stop. Should we keep it in black history because we are black history? Should we keep the FDMG grand opening in black history because we all black history or should we wait till spring and do the indoor and the outdoor? What are your thoughts? Text me. Text me your thoughts. I do not check inbox messages. I do not check inbox messages. I, I do, do not, not check. check inbox messages. You can text me 215-9899. Let me see if you said anything else. I need someone who could put up a fence and a gate, black fence and gate company. Did he say rats? Does anybody know of a company does anybody know of a black fencing and gate somebody who can repair drop ceiling racks i need some drop oh, ceiling oh, oh, racks oh, repaired ceiling in the school yeah, okay. 215 yeah he's been watching these videos see he he been he watched these videos we did over the last week <laughs> 989 9858 you could text me in the meantime i thought he said we need someone to come and get these rats we need someone <laughs> we got to get these rats out after halloween family we need somebody <laughs> We got too many. Well, I've been holding on to the rats for the Halloween badge, but we, we need to get these rats out of here. He said, We need somebody. We need a professional. We need someone who is a professional rat, rat, rat get out, get her out of We need someone who can get these rats and get them up out the building, family. We need someone who knows about rats and, 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 and their behavior and how to make them come out with cheese. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? We kept them in because we was holding them. We was holding the family because of Halloween. Because we got the haunted house. We want the kids to see the rats for the Halloween family. But now we need someone to come and get the rats. I said, Word, you won't stop. If you don't stop, that's what I thought he was going to say. I heard him say some wild stuff. I figured that's going to be the next thing he talked about. He <laughs> need to get the rats out. 
<laughs> well, them rats got a better education than them kids. I know that. All right. I need somebody who can repair drop ceiling. I need somebody who can repair drop ceiling racks. I need some drop ceiling racks <laughs> repaired in the school. Drop ceiling rack. <laughs> we got we got racks in the ceiling. We got said what? I need someone who could put up a fence and a gate, black fence and gate company. See, see he been watching these videos more. Umar, we got you going, bro. We got you on task. <laughs> Boy, you he been watching these videos because I was talking about how the first thing he should have done, he should have done, the first thing he should have did was put up a fence to secure the area before he started anything. Because that's what you do with any renovation project, right? I said that years ago, but that but see, he watched these videos. <laughs> Umar, listen, man. Me and you, we, we it's gonna be we we gonna we both we gonna be good. We, I'm gonna get you on the straight uh, and narrow. Okay, you just keep watching these videos. I'm gonna get you going in the right direction in life. By the time, listen. By the time this school open, I'm gonna get you on the straight. <laughs> uh, by next month, I'm gonna get you straightened out, bro. Okay, don't worry about it. Umar, we gonna get you straightened out. Here we go. Does anybody know of a black fencing and gate company? Does anybody know of a black fence and gate company? Does anybody know of someone who can repair drop ceiling racks? The metal racks? Some of our racks are not balanced. We got to balance our drop ceiling racks. Oh my God. He got to balance. He said, we got to balance the drop ceiling racks. Boy, this is sad. <laughs> One of the saddest things. Rats over renovations, fam. <laughs> Politics over Punani and rats over renovations, family. <laughs> They're trying to tell y'all. <laughs> I shouldn't have did that. I should not do who my watch is linen for you. <laughs> It's true though. It's true. He do. He be trying to. He get a list. He said, "Okay." He said, "I he said I should have had a fence. I'm gonna get a fence." <laughs> he said that the drop 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 squad, the drop squad kitchen ceiling tile. He be, I'm gonna get that done next month. <laughs> it's true though. It, it's exactly what happens. <laughs> I'm telling you. How's it going, Alexa? Good to see you. I don't know. I have no idea what H bag is nowhere to be found. <laughs> boy, he he probably boy. I'm saying he watched these for sure, but he probably in here looking in the chat room for the cookie crush chat saying about me. <laughs> Y'all say something nice for him, okay? <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna start it. I'm starting it. I'm saying something nice about Ubar because he watches. I want to give him some encouragement. Ubar, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. I should. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna delete that. I'm taking that off of there. I'm gonna put myself on timeout. Okay. All right, everybody. I want you to say something. Say something nice. Give him some encouragement. It's hard out here right about now. It's about to get weird. snow coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just had to say something nice. I, but don't worry, Uber. We're gonna get it together, bro. Don't don't just keep going. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's get back to it. I want to see what else he's saying. I need someone who can balance drop selling racks. <laughs> oh my god. Also. Oh, of course. <laughs> Boy, this guy, he don't stop. African wallpaper. African print wallpaper. What? Professional, high quality <laughs> African print wallpaper. God. African print wallpaper. Do you know anyone who does high quality? <laughs> it's got to be high quality, not the low quality. And Dutch African print what? Industrial wallpaper, African. I thought he said in dusty, <laughs> dusty wallpaper. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. I don't know. I ain't never heard of so it. So community <laughs> grand opening will community not be Kwanzaa. Opening. It'll okay. be February or spring. 
So not the school. I'm going to make the decision, but I want your input. Let me know what you think. How are my African queens doing? Here we go. I was Here banned go. from going live for a long time. Where Here are my go. natural head African queens at? Where are my natural head African queens at? Where are my all natural five, 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 one, five, four, five, six, five, two, five, three, five, eight, five, nine, all natural, extra thick and curvy conscious queens at? Where y'all? Five, two. What? Hide your kids, hide your wife. Untold people. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? All natural. Just rub it on itself, you hear him? Just, boy, there's something wrong with him. Natural, extra curvy, super thick in the th Where my conscious African queens at? Just By the way, date with the doctor. Date with the doctor is on and popping. Sisters who want a one-on-one -on -one private lunch with Dr. Umar, $500 donation to FDMG. $500 donation to FDMG. $500 donation to FDMG. And you get your private lunch with Dr. Umar. I pay for the lunch. We've already had our first date with the doctor. It's always confidential. Nobody ever knows who the queens are. Go it's ahead. always confidential. Nobody ever knows where the queens are. We had our first queen luncheon. We got another luncheon next week. No, nah, he went down to five two. That's what he said. I can't remember what the. I think that's the lowest he's ever gone. But I thought he was one time. He said something really low. But I can't remember what it was. I, I was shocked. But he said five two. Sometimes I think he says stuff just for the shock value. It's still perverted, but he says it for the shock value. Because because saying something like, I mean, come on now. I'm wrong with you. Date with the doctor. Yeah, it was like four or eight or donor. something like that. I remember that. I can't remember. What, I thought it was, four, something, it was somewhere around there. I said, man, he said five one. I didn't hear him say five one right here, but I've heard him say four or something one time. I said something wrong with this guy. Nation to FDMG gets you to date with the doctor. Hit the cash app. <laughs> Dollar sign FDMG school. <laughs> Hit the cash app. Yeah. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. <laughs> Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. No, we meet for lunch. The queen will choose her restaurant in Philadelphia. She will choose her restaurant in Delaware. It's her choice. She could choose a restaurant in Philly. She could choose a restaurant in Delaware. She could choose a restaurant in South Jersey, but it has to be in my area. Now, if I'm in your area, if you catch me when I'm in Omaha, if you catch me when I'm in Syracuse, if you catch me when I'm in Ghana, if you catch me when I'm in Cameroon, if you catch me in your city, we can do lunch in your city. But outside of my travels, you have to come to where it's convenient for me. You choose the restaurant, I pay for the lunch, $500 donation. $500 donation, hit the cash app. Let me see if anybody hit the cash app this morning. I'm on the school phone, I can't see if anybody hit the cash app. Now, there's well, been a lot phone. of talk going on about my brother Special Ed, one of our old school hip hop artists. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. I, I don't know what else he talks about in this video. Yeah, he in that ho hotel room. Hotel. So what I'm saying is, we cannot be hypocrites. Library, we celebrating Nat Turner's to the rap to a whole new level. A mouth on your penis is somehow beneficial.
we're gonna leave it at that. I don't even want to go back and rewind it to hear what he's talking about. I'm, I'm just going. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, uh, no. Nope, 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 no, nope, nope. I, I don't know what in the world. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't even. Well, Tata said okay. <laughs> You know, Tata, as you say, we got to, we got to do it. <clears throat> oh goodness, I, I don't. I, something told me just to stop. Some said don't go any further, but I, I did, and I was skipping through. What's up, Tyree? All right, Tyree said he's one of the old OG. He's a Sith Lord. <laughs> so we go do it. Tata, Tyree said it. We gonna have to do it. We go. We gonna have to. Do it. <laughs> Some people like, don't do it. <laughs> don't you do it. Uh, mind bites. We got some super chats. So I'm gonna get to those in just a moment. It says it's just like you said a few years ago that around this time of year he goes to a hotel room because of the yeah, absolutely. And we'll see more and more of that. See, um, Umar doesn't have his own residence, in other words, he's not on paperwork for a lease or for you know for a rental agreement or for a mortgage or anything like that. He's that's not he doesn't have that in his life and hasn't for a long time. Uh, the, the last place he stayed, the last two places he stayed at before he stayed in his mama's closet, he stayed and he was on the paperwork with his mom. And in one of the uh, buildings that he was in, he was with his mom and some other guy. I looked at it. I don't even want to get into that. My goodness gracious. They got evicted the last two times where Umar was standing. Remember, he flipped the phone. He got evicted from that place. That, that's his, he was living in all that filth. That he was standing with his mom at that time. So what I'm getting uh, at is that he doesn't have his own official residence at this point and the arrangement that he had with his mother was he was a primary caretaker and he was supposed to be staying there okay because uh the caseworker came he was supposed to come there to be the primary caretaker but not as a live-in see and that's why the caseworker they did it i don't even want to get into all this okay you more john spots i got a receipts on all of this um the point is that with umar he has a rental car he doesn't have anything official you know, he doesn't have this. It's it's amazing. He doesn't have his own car. He doesn't have his own place to stay. Um, it's sad. He's collected millions of dollars. Again, it speaks to to where he's at in life, and it just keeps getting worse. I've followed him for for years now. It's keep getting worse. But what I get want to get to here is that Umar has depended on you, don't donors, the people who send him money. He's dependent on you to survive, not to open up a school, okay, but for him to survive and live out his lifestyle. It's a self destructive lifestyle. Because he doesn't have his own residence, he will depend on his mama to stay with her whenever he can. But there comes a time and stuff happens. Because I've seen that he's made these comments where I can tell he's had there's some sort of a situation that's taking place and he can't stay with his mama for some reason, what have you. And so he then depends upon donations so he can get a motel or hotel or he depends on getting booked to go speak somewhere because they'll put him up with room and board. They give him food and all that stuff. And so usually when it starts to cool down and it gets really cold out there on the East Coast, but in particular up there in Delaware, it's, it's freezing cold out there, snow, all that stuff. When it starts to get cold, you start to see Umar get frantic and he starts to do more live streaming, live stream more inside of hotel rooms. He's asking for more and more money because he doesn't have a place to stay. He can't stay in his car. Maybe his, he got the tie at that time or coming up. He can't stay with his mama and he knows that. So he has to have a place to stay. He wants you all to book him. He wants you all to send him money so he can pay for a hotel motel. There was a time where his whole objective was to make the gym comfortable enough to where he can live in there. And so he put in these look these wall units to, to and it's cold. It's a it's like being in a freezer, you know, the, the, if inside of a gym with no HVAC. He already said if it didn't pass inspection. There's only so much you can do for a building of that size. You can't just put a wall. unit. It's sad. You can't pull a wall unit up inside of a, an office space inside of this mat, this gym and everything else there's nothing else. everything else is just an ice box there's there's you can't turn it on long enough or high enough to, to maintain heat you can get as many blankets it's sad you can get as many blankets as you want to so around this time every single year, year this happens and uh you will see moving forward you'll see umar in more and more hotels and you'll see him ask for money more and more because winter is coming See, the way I look at it is that at some point in life, you have to see the pattern and you have to say, wait a minute, I got to do something different. This isn't working. But he runs this pattern every single year. And thanks for being a member, too. All right. 
So Tata and Tyree said that room. I'm just gonna. I just want to see. Uh, well, I really don't, but I'll, I'll go ahead and rewind this. I don't know what's going on with this. I, he was talking about something else with hip hop. And if we got 900 people, y'all hit the like button. Someone give me an update on the likes too. Alternatives. Here we go. We don't have no alternatives today. We have very few alternatives today. I think Dead Press is still doing their thing here and there. Arrested Development may still be doing their thing here and there. But we ain't got no alternatives today. Press. Hip hop is totally colonized by gangster rap today. Hip hop has been totally colonized and compromised okay, one more. by hip hop one today. More, so one have more a conversation about right now. But let's not be dishonest. Let's, let's not act like telling women to put their mouth on your penis is somehow beneficial to the black community. Let's stop acting like gangster rappers only reflect the neighborhood they come from because most of them don't live in that neighborhood no more. So why are you still rapping about it? Most gangster rappers don't live in the neighborhood no more. So why are you still rap about drugs, killing people, going to jail, smoking weed, sexually exploiting black women? Most he just projected. I told y'all. He had to say that too. He had to get to the sexual graphic stuff. We talked about that yesterday. He's something else. He is something else. We're going to do that. That We still got to get the video for today. We already out. Boy, this is probably going to be a three hour live. I hope y'all don't mind. We got 90 people in the building. Uh, let me get to uh, these other super chats real quick. I also have PayPal and Cash App links listed down, but I also want to thank people who sent in Cash Apps and PayPal links who watched the show after the live stream. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Um, okay, I got that one earlier. Crazy Earth, thank you. Lewis says, Umar may be in Africa, but his pants are doing security patrols. <laughs> we talked about them jeans. <laughs> he just leave them jeans there. They walk by themselves. I remember that. Thanks, Lewis. Lewis like Brittany says, Umar said he stay in hotels 70, said he stay in hotels 75% of the time. I don't remember him saying that. I may have, I don't remember that. He may have done a video where he said that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe not 75% of the time he may be exaggerating a little bit but even that that's not a good look it's not like that that's i think that's more for him to say listen i'm traveling all the time but the truth is that most of the time when he's in these hotel rooms uh it's not because he's traveling it's because he needs a place to stay it's not because he's speaking it's because he needs a place to stay see the the the, the speaking engagements is simply the way to get the hotel but ultimately his goal is to get the hotel then he can call up to call up the women and do all that stuff too okay turn the heat down Okay, remember, okay. so uh, I, I'm not sure. Seventy five percent of the year seems a, a bit high. I, I would think probably closer to fifty percent of the time, maybe sixty. Uh, but even still, it's not a good look because it just goes to show you that he's not. Um, you know, I, this real quick, uh, Brittany. I remember, and I can pull up the receipt. I remember when Umar was talking about how he was going to move to Wilmington since he had purchased these abandoned buildings and he's going to need to be up there in order to get things done. Did he ever do that? No. He's still going from hotel, motel, here, there. He's all over the place, over in Africa, so forth, so forth. So it goes to show that he's not serious about opening up a school. So you got to be stable. If you're going to do a project like this, you have to be stable on different on different levels, but your residence has to be stable enough and you have to be in close proximity to where this project is, is being built. Is that the case with Umar? No. And when I say close, close proximity, I'm talking about five, 10 minutes away and that you up there every single day and you're working to get this and move this thing forward. But that's not what we've seen over the last four and a half years. He's over in motel. He says 75% of the time. Okay. I could kind of see that, but I think it's probably closer to 50, 60%. That's what I think. Okay. Again, I'm just, I'm uh, estimating here. Uh, but the point is that if you're in, in a hotel room in Chicago, then you're in a hotel room in Tennessee and in a hotel room, uh, in, in uh, Florida, and then you over in Africa for three weeks, and then you're back over here, and then you're in Jamaica. How are you getting the school up and running? See, it's not about the school. It's about getting money out of people. And right now, it's about getting a place to stay because it's cold. He can't stay inside of them buildings. The other day, I, I played the video where he was inside the gym, and someone had pointed out and said, is that an air mattress in the back? There's been times we were watching videos, and, and yeah, they, there was an air mattress in there. So who, I told people anyway, that that's why he was trying to get that place fixed up because he needed to, a place to stay at least part partly sometimes he can stay inside of that gym not one boy has been educated thanks for super chat uh Brittany. Tata says hi Lenny can you show the video of Umar not washing his hands after you know I, I would have to find that one I don't think I have that one in my notes I remember that one. there's there's actually two of them there's actually two of those anyone remember what those are please let me know uh I'll have to look for it Tata I'll look for that uh, between now and our next live stream i'll look for it too uh now but i don't think i have that one in my notes i, I don't I, I can check and see but I, i'll write that down right here um 
because there's two. Um, one, I remember there was someone in there with him and the one where he was by himself. It was. Yeah, there were two videos where he does that and people were calling him out on it. Anybody remember that? Hit the one. I'll, if anyone can help me find it, I would appreciate it. But I'll look for it. I'll do my best to find it. If I can't do it uh, this live stream, I'll look for it between now and next live stream. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. And thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Lewis. Look, uh, Vegan Sports Bar says, why does Umar never say my YouTube? <laughs> uh, we know why. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Sharon sent in a super sticker. Thank you so much. Thanks, Vegan Sports Bar as well. Mr. Controversy says, well, uh, look uh, look like I won't be doing uh, the half moon this year. <laughs> yeah, you won't. Be. Not this year. Next, It's going to happen next month, though. Hang in there, Mr. Controversy. All right. Goodwin says, what's his tax bill at now? I have no idea. Uh, cookies. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. I haven't looked it up. I haven't really uh, been following Umar for many months. Months. Uh, thanks, uh, Ms. Controversy. Thanks, uh, Good Twin from the AK. Um, Lewis Suckall says, remember he set the alarm? With yeah, I mean, we talked about that yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, he set the alarm. There was no electricity in there. And now when, you, when he opens up the doors, there's you don't hear the, you don't hear the alarm um, uh, disengaging or engaging at all. He's such a he, this, that was just a lie. It was a scam. We were calling him out about that. And then, he, then all of a sudden he has an alarm system that, that quote unquote works. He watches these videos. He, he take notes. Thanks. It was like a whole Southern cook says the festival has been infinitely pushed back and is now the apoc uh, apocalyptic celebration and will launch the sixth month of 99. <laughs> yeah. But see, the thing is, at least we can say that he's thrown two parties. That, that's the thing. Uh, uh, he's collected millions of dollars. He spent $400,000 to acquire these trap bandos, and he's thrown two pa uh, two parties. And that's the one thing, Umar Johnson followers, I'll always give Umar credit when he gets things done. Okay, Again, that's not what he collected money for. That's not going to help uh, you know, to open up the school. It doesn't help educate children or any of that stuff. In fact, it was a fiasco. They had, they had uh, uh, uh uh, Miguel Hoxson up there. They got this group singing that song, uh, Eighth of a Jar. I'm about to play that right now. So that doesn't help anybody. That's just Umar trying to, sh to show that he's doing something. But again, that's not what this whole project was about. It wasn't about throwing parties. See, it was about opening up a school for black boys to educate black boys. So this whole uh, is supposed to be a yearly celebration out of what? Almost five years. He did it twice. OK, but I still give him some credit for that. OK, it's still again, it's irrelevant, you know, in the bigger scheme of things. But I still give him credit for that. Let me let me pull up because uh, someone has sent in a super chat. They had to ask. This was a couple of shows ago. They had asked for me to play this video and I, I couldn't find it during the live. But I did find it. Um, let's see here. I found it. Where is it at? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'll find it and I'll play it. But let me go ahead and. Well, let, here it is. Let me think this is it right here. Is that one? No, that's not it. Ten. Uh, this is it right here. Okay, give me one second, everybody. Let me go ahead and play this because they will. They want to hear that song they were singing. All right, here we go. Right here, and th uh, thanks, whole Southern Cooks. Uh, here it is, right here. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Here it is. Let me know y'all hear this. Look, I mean, it's it's just such a bad look. It's just the, the the whole it's in between two abandoned buildings, and it's just the way everything looks is run down and dirty. Not to be mean, but it, it is what it is. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. The bass player was getting it in, though. He, he was getting it in. We we went and, and watched this, but we were trying to figure out what she was saying. And I think she was saying, I, I have an eighth of a job, which is what Umar had. <laughs> See, he was singing this song. This Umar wrote this. Of a job. I got an eighth of a job. 
<laughs> this guy right here, he looking like, huh? <laughs> he said, what you say? What did you say? Okay. I'm only reason why I'm playing it is because someone has sent in a super chat. And that's what they requested. I try to get to all the requests. I want to do Miguel Haxon, but we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> Miguel, he was getting it in, too. He was a Michael Jackson impersonator. He was helping that people. <laughs> they was doing Thriller and everything. I said, go ahead. All right. Okay, we ain't made no progress on the video that I want to do today. That's okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Crazy Boy says, I thought all the repairs were finished. Sounds like he didn't do anything. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. He lied. That's what the thumbnail says. He lied about the renovations being done. And and in that video that we just played, he actually admits that, you know, because see, if renovations are done, everything you're gonna pass inspection unless they're not done. There's still things that need to be done. And I'll propose that there's a whole, even though he says it's, it's not much, there's a whole, because just looking at the video of the interior and the exterior recent videos, I, I can tell, no, there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done. But he told people he lied to people. He lied to you, Umar Johnson followers, because he wants you to continue to send him money. Winter is coming. It's really that simple. But, and again, he, with Umar, see, that's the thing. I don't have to, to make anything up and I don't have to lie. I just, I'll, I'll play the, and I don't have to twist things either because, because you could, you could take a snippet of what someone says from one video and then say that they said, they said, that, but if you listen to everything in context, it actually means something totally different. So you, you, but I don't do that. I let him run his mouth. I take my time and then I can pull up receipts to show people, okay, long. He said this in this video, but in this video, he said something totally different. Umar, don't, I told Umar, I told you don't do it. See? Every time I talk, we talk about you lying to the people. Then that's when you start texting me. Stop, man. Just be patient, bro. It's going to just it's going to open. OK, it's going to open. You got to be patient. All right. Uh, is it eighth of a jar? I thought it was eighth of a job. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was an eighth of a jar or jo a job. I thought they was talking about Umar. Uh, you know, that's his theme song. <laughs> Evidently, he said I got eighth of a job, family. Get on that cash app, family. Get on that cash app. Okay. Uh, thanks, Crazy Horse, for Super Chat and Whole Southern Cooks. Hasa says, can, can, uh, how is he paying for the date if the queens pay 500? That's a good question. I didn't even think about that. I did not think about that. That's what you call critical thinking. Uh, boy, you, you got me on that one. So what, what Hasa is referring to, remember Umar said he's going to take the queens out on a date. For five hundred dollars, but we're but I'm paying for everything. Okay, how is he paying for the date if the queens pay five hundred dollars? She paid for the date at least three times already. Yeah, I know. And if it was me with five hundred dollars, that's about fifteen dates. Because <laughs> you ain't get about thirty bucks. <laughs> I, I take it Walmart thirty bucks. We go get something for thirty bucks <laughs> for both of us. Okay, fifteen each. <laughs> That was my wife. We said, "You want to call a day, Quinn? Like, baby, said, yeah, okay, we're going to Walmart. Let's go. Let's go get these bills. <laughs> we 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 gonna get we, we gonna get this Walmart basket filled up a quarter of the way through. <laughs> you can't even do that though with thirty bucks these days. Trust me, I know. You just get that little part with a baby sit in. You might get enough food to just put in there. <laughs> when I was a kid, you put thirty bucks, you get a whole basket. All right. <laughs> this is a good point. I didn't think about this. That's a scam. He said, You paid me $500. I'm paying for everything. <laughs> he said, I'm paying for everything with your money. Boy, who are a trip? I didn't even think about that. That's a good call, Hoss. Good job. All right. Miss Conference says, We're not leaving here until you rewind me. That was early. We already done got through that. We done got through that. I don't know why Umar got his talk like that. It's ridiculous. He ain't got no shame. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Conference. Thanks, Haza. Thanks to everybody else too. So nice says a split unit is not an HVAC. He really going to be sniffing. <laughs> yeah. But no, he actually did get a, a large HVAC unit to put on the smaller building. He did because he showed it being lifted up and it was brand new. I gave him credit for that. It took him a, a year, a little over a year after he said he was going to do it because we were staying on him about it. He ended up doing it. But the thing is that he needs on the other side of the street, he needs uh I think it was four uh, large HVACs, the same size. That's about $200,000. And then there were three uh, or four ancillary smaller HVACs. I, ha I have drone footage that I showed in the past. Three or four ancillary smaller units that need to be installed up there too. And that, that's not even considering the duct work 
any of that stuff. That's just the actual unit. Uh, so this is it, it's it's um, he he needs millions of dollars to get this done. Millions, literally millions of dollars. And yet he's lied. He's told people that the renovations are done. Obviously, they're not. And he keeps he'll keep on lying. I mean, you just all you got to do is play what he said a couple of months ago. And then you play what he said a couple of weeks ago and total contradiction. And it proves my point. He's a habitual liar. Okay? I don't got to lie on this guy. I don't got to make anything up. OK, I think I got through all the super chats, everybody. Um, we still have 850 people in the building. If y'all hit the like button, I appreciate it. How are we doing on likes? I, I want to at least get one more of these, these lights turned on for the cookie press chat. Can get somebody let me know? I'd appreciate it. You don't know about, about, about Miguel Hoxon? Yeah, you, you missing out. But we, we, we got to stay focused because otherwise we're going to be here too long and we got to get going here. All right, so uh, let's see. We got through. Let me let me make sure I'm, I'm clear about. Okay, so this. I didn't mean to play this one. This is this is the next, probably the next live stream. This is the video I want to It's 11.47 p.m. South Africa time, and I'm the five, five thick in the thighs. Oh, my goodness. Um, I do not feel ashamed because I love my woman extra curvy. I'm sorry. Shout out to the skinny queens. Shout out to the petite queens. But I love my queens curvy. No disrespect. I love all black women. Good. I'm not putting on no Philly cap. I got on my traditional Kosa Kingdom royal dress. This guy, he is a nut. I mean, this guy, it, it, it's truly, truly, this guy is out there. Okay. This is before Halloween. He dressed up with his cosplay in advance. Okay. We have five, 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 <laughs> five, seventeen. All right. All right, so we made, and I didn't part. That was just my chair. A friend of mine, a, one of my loved ones, sent me a new chair. I thank you so much. Um. Okay, so the goal was four fifty. So we already got it. Okay, cool. Okay, and and, and the next goal is, is uh, seven fifty. I don't think we're gonna get there tonight because that that would be like you know Umar uh, get start getting his school going. <laughs> it's not. It's not probably not gonna happen. I think I was being greedy. I should have put six fifty. I'm sorry. I'm about to change it. <laughs> I was being greedy like Umar. I didn't learn my lesson, family. Okay, uh, let's get. Let me let me go ahead and we going let we got we got to get the next one going here because I want to just thank y'all so much. Good crush chat, love y'all. I hope you guys been enjoying these shows. I missed y'all. I'm so grateful and thankful. And then uh, we are gonna go ahead and oh, I don't want this one. Can you turn that one off? There we go. All right, there we go. Thank y'all so much, uh, sincerely. Okay, you guys are the best. There's people that be coming and watching these, and the numbers are better than what we when we were live streaming before. I, I just, I'm so thankful. Thank you all. You guys make it happen. Okay, I'm just here to kick it. I'm just here to kick it. All right, so let's get to the video for today. Uh, we'll probably go for another hour, then we'll be done uh, for today. All righty, here we go. I'm going to go to sleep in this. I don't even want to take it off. You hear me, Kosa family? I want to thank y'all for gifting me with this outfit. I don't even want to take it off. I don't even want to take it off. What? This guy. All right, here's the actual video. <laughs> He's so happy. He's like a big old kid. He's looking to see what people are clowning him. <laughs> the chat room breathing all heavy. It sounded like he was getting hyped before he started the live stream. <laughs> he was like, yeah, man. He was like, yeah. I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this. He was going to be cute. He was like, yeah, family. I'm going to do this. He was like, we're going to do this, family. I'm about to do this. He was running around. He started breathing heavy. And then when he got on, he was like, he was exhausted. He was like, I'm a part of the Kosa Kingdom. <laughs> I'm a part of the Kosa Kingdom hyped. right now. He family. got hyped before he started. I'm a part of the Kosa <laughs> Kingdom right now, family. Me too. What's going Me on too. in the United States? Anything new? What's going on in the United States? Is anything new? My American Africans, am I missing any news? Here he goes. My American Africans, am I missing any news? Can I get an update while I'm out of the continent? Intercontinental Ifa Tunde is out of the continent. Can I get an update? 
Go get Intercontinental go. Ifa Tunde is out of the go get my pass, continent. Go get my pass, Can I get an update, African family? <laughs> Can I get an update, African family? I, I don't when am I coming to the continent? It's, it's bad when your when your uh, passport is dirty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me stop. Go. Here we go. When am I coming to Cote d'Ivoire? When am I coming to Cameroon? When am I coming to Namibia? When am I coming to Zimbabwe? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When am I coming to the Democratic Republic I'm of the Congo? When am I coming to Madagascar? When am I coming to Uganda? <laughs> oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. He really, if you he need really to reach me on WhatsApp, plus one, two, one, five, nine, eight, nine. <laughs> he leaning in. <laughs> nine, eight, five, eight. If you need to reach he me on WhatsApp, family. plus one, two, one, five, nine, eight, nine, <laughs> nine, eight, five, eight. Funny. My DJ booty Africans, when y'all bringing me up? My huh? DJ booty Africans, when y'all bringing me up? DJ booty. My meeting with brother Julius was a productive meeting with my brother. Who's Julius? Okay. Much respect to the EFF. Much respect to the ANC. Much respect to the EFF. I don't know. Much what respect to the ANC. AMC African National Congress? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Peace and Pan-Africanism, Cat Natural. Where my Kosa <laughs> queens at? He said Cat Where my Kosa? Where the Kosa family cat. at tonight? What we doing in the Kosa Kingdom of South Africa? What are we doing in the Kosa Kingdom of South Africa tonight? I think I'm aware my Kosa regalia at the grand opening of fdmg what do y'all think grand opening of fdmg should i wear my colsa regalia oh, my colsa regalia at yeah, the grand I, I, I opening the, of the frederick douglas it's marcus a, uh, garvey academy i even got a staff it's it, you said a swiffer mop that's what it say on here it says swiffer power mop I don't I don't understand it because when we was kids, we just had an old regular old mop. You remember what I'm talking about? We just had the, the things little uh you know what I'm talking about. Uh I don't even know what that what we would call that. Little string, the large the string large string things that come out. That's what we had, but now my wife, she's going to get this thing. I don't I don't know. Then it got these these pads, <laughs> these big old pads that go on it. <laughs> I was, I was, she had put them in the, the washing machine and I, I I got, I was putting them in the dryer. I didn't know what it was. I, I said, <laughs> I said, what in the world? <laughs> I, I said, I don't know what God. I said, I'm asked, I said, what is this pad for? <laughs> I can't you. I ain't even gonna lie, family. I said, wait a minute. Y'all think, think I'm playing? I did. She'll tell you. I was like, I was shocked. I said, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I don't care about it. I go to the store, I'll be getting them pads. If women be looking at me, they be smiling. I don't care. And I said, we got three women up in here. I'll go, I'll be proud too. I'll be walking in. Hey, look, look, bro, look what I got. Men be getting all nervous. <laughs> I don't care. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just with you for I'm very comfortable with those types of things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. What you going to make? Okay. Come on. Go ahead and make me some. <laughs> she, said, she said she had to come down and get some food. I said, okay, come on. Come on. Make me something. Okay, I, I took it. I took it all. Yeah, they were asking about that broom, that Swiffer broom, or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah, huh? Uh, somebody made something and probably ate two bites and left the rest in the pot. But it's all good. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go ahead and, and let this play. Okay, here we go. Look at that bad boy. Everybody right saying hi. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yes. Here we go with more toys. Oh, yes. Look at that bad boy right there. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. I am the Colsey. I'm a Colsey. Oh, yes. I am the Colsey. In Colsey, I'm a Colsey of black consciousness. I am the in Colsey. I'm a Colsey of black consciousness. I am the in Colsey. I'm a Colsey of black psychology. I am the in Colsey. I'm a Colsey of pan Africanism. I am the king of kings, brothers and sisters. Well, the in Colsey. I'm a Colsey. I am the king of kings. I am the king of kings. Now I need me a royal court of queens. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that now. But I, when I first saw them, I was, I just was like, what? Because I, I, I had no idea. Because I, I was took, I was taking clothes out the wash, or taking them out the wash. Because it was, I don't know, it was about eight of them out the wash machine. I was putting them in the, uh, the dryer, and uh, I was like, what? Uh, I don't even think you're supposed to dry them. I think she told me not to dry them. We actually not to put them in the dryer. We, we uh, just set them out. But I'm I'm real comfortable with that concept. I don't I don't really care when I go get pads. I, I don't do not care. But but you'd be amazed at how uh, women uh, they respond to that. You know they're like, wow, that's that's you know that's cool. He ain't you know I, I just, I've been doing it so long. I don't care. I got had uh, all them sisters too. I really don't care. Uh, okay, here we go. Take care of the king. Is there any sisters in the African diaspora Umar from Africa, Africa to America to the, the Caribbean African to Andor. Europe to Canada to Australia to Asia to the South Pacific to Central America? I need 12 queens to be in my royal court to serve the king. Goodness. Are there any sisters who want to volunteer to be part of the Inkosa Amakosi of Black Consciousness Royal Court? See, royal court, this is this is like uh really it's uh, cult stuff. It really is. It's like having a harem. He's he's so twisted up, he's just twisted. He ain't talking nothing about educating black boys. He rarely does, he rarely says that. Any sisters want to be in my royal court? Any sisters, all you got to do is take care of the prince. Nothing sexual, ladies. <laughs> this is all above the waist. Nothing sexual, go. ladies. This is all above the waist. See, I, I've been studying the, these high uh, demand uh, religious groups and, and a lot of these leaders, this is what they talk like this. It's just they're subtle about it. And they, then they'll say stuff like it's not about the sex. But, you know, that's really what it is. That's why they're saying that to cover their tracks. Like this one guy, Warren Jeffs. You guys look into this pervert. I said, shh. Just it's it's crazy. These the, the way this stuff works. And Umar, he's right up there. He really is. He's right up there. You cannot be weaved out. You cannot be permed out. You cannot be straightened and combed out. You can't be snow puppy out. You got to be all natural, head to toe, to be part of the Inkosi. I'm a Kosi of Black Consciousness Royal Queendom. Oh yes, I need twelve queens. I'm looking for 12 special black women, non-sexual, non-sexual, 12 African queens who can handle the administrative work, mm -hmm. who can prepare my meals, Goodness, ladies. provide and organize my travels, my security, including traveling secretary. Oh, yes. Well, he, he's so delusional. He's out there. It's the Nkulsi. I'm a Kulsi. I need, this is what we're going to do. There's really only six continents because Europe is not a continent. So I'm going to take two queens mm -hmm. for the royal court of Ifa Tunde. Two queens from every continent. So I need two yeah. South American yeah. queens. I need two North American queens. I need two African continental queens. I need two Australian queens, two African queens in Europe, two Africa. If you offended, please hop off the live. I don't want to offend you. Delete my page. Just hop on off the live. If you are offended, get off the live respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah, Tata, I couldn't find it in my nose. I'm going I'm to keep looking. It's just there were two videos. I don't even remember the year. If anyone uh, remembers, oh, it's going to be hard to find those, but I'm going to do my best. Those are the two videos where Umar goes and uses the bathroom and doesn't wash his hands. It was two videos. I'll, I'll do my best to find it. I'm trying to see. I could also look on, on my, micro, uh, the, my publisher, Microsoft publisher, and look through that too. I'll have to, I'll, it's going to take some time, but I'll, I'll do my best, Doctor, okay? Here we go. My pages are for Ifa Tunde supporters only. If you're not an Ifa Tunde supporter, you don't belong <laughs> on this live. <laughs> my 
too much. I need somebody to prepare my cereal, <laughs> my cabinet crunch, and my. my, my what, what the, my cabinet crunch and my tricks. My kids, they something else. I, I bought them this this uh because we used to when we were kids, it was a, a privilege to have like Captain Crunch and Pops. Remember Pop cereal? And I got them something else in there, but I got them in the big old bags. Uh not in the box, but the big old bags is cheaper. They don't even eat it. I said, y'all so, and I, I don't really eat it either these days, but back when if I was a kid, that was like heaven because we used to have cornflakes, but then when we get that, my kids don't even eat that. They they so spoiled. <laughs> they said we we need a queen. <laughs> to, to prepare my ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> God, little princess. You remember Umar was on a live eating an ice cream sandwich? <laughs> he, was, he was tearing that ice cream sandwich up. <laughs> he, had, he had no mercy. <laughs> yeah, Raisin Bran. It, it was Raisin Bran, uh, Corn Flakes, and... Uh, what there was this shred, shredded wheat without the frost. <laughs> yeah, that's my, my kids. They get, I can buy them whole thing. They don't even eat it. I said, okay. Here we Mercy go. Benz. You was on my live yesterday, Mercy Benz. Good to see you again, sister. I hope y'all been donating. Have you hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school? Have you hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school? Has anyone hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school? Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. The paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. This is one of the kings of the Kulsa kingdom. This is one of the traditional rulers of a Kosa kingdom. This is in Kosi, I'm a Kosi Ifatunde Ogunta. In Kosi, I'm a Kosi Ifatunde. He's like a he's like a child. He really is. Ogunta. I do look good though. I ain't gonna lie. Six foot three, North Philly beard. Golden brown Leo skin. I'm not gonna lie. I do look good. I look better than half you, but anyway, let's stay focused, brothers and sisters. We must stay focused. Good lecture tonight. A lot of good speech. Good food tonight. A lot of my young lady supporters came out. They were so happy to see me. They asked me go. for hugs. Shout out to my young Kosa queens there who asked go. me for a hug. They sung the Kosa song. My young Zulu queens gave me a big hug. The queen mothers. The alpha males was in the building supporting their brother. This was a good South African visit. Boy, you South African. Ethiopia, are you ready? Videos. Ethiopia, are you ready? You know who you dealing with? Ethiopia, the. I had a South African uh, girlfriend when I was uh, twenty three. She was thirty three. She's from South Africa. She was cute too. She wasn't cute as my wife, though, but she was cute. She had her a young buck. <laughs> she, it wasn't good either. It wasn't good. It was not good. She she was because she was still married. She told me she was divorced, but she was still married. I said, damn, when I found out. I found out. I'll tell you all I found out. We was out eating. It was at a vegan restaurant. I remember to this day. We had got done eating, and normally we go out to go eat. I would pay for the meal one time. The next time we go out to eat, she would pay. She liked Italian food. But we, we would go out to eat, and I would pay the first time, and she would pay. We alternate. So one time we went to the, the vegan restaurant. Food was pretty good, too. It wasn't great, but it was good. And after the whole meal and everything, we had a good meal, chit chat and stuff. And then when it was time for her, she was going to pay. So when she put her uh, she put her card down, and then she put her ID down, and I just happened to look down at her ID, and the last name was different than what she told me her last name was. And I was like, why is your last name different? And she's like, oh, I don't want to talk about that right now. I said, well, well come to find out. Mm -mm -mm. God got to be honest with people. Be honest. If you married, you know. Now, if she was married, would I still been dealing with her? Probably not. But, you know, these days, though, if I was single and the person was still married and they just going through a divorce, would I deal with them? Yeah, probably because I'm older and I'm more mature. But at the age of 23, nah, and she's 33. I said, nah, that ain't, that ain't right. 
Yeah, I, I was a side piece. <laughs> it's sad. I was a side piece. It was well, the worst feeling in the world being a side piece, <laughs> especially when you knew you you thought you was the one. <laughs> You thought you was a main course, but you were relegated to a side piece. Anyway, moving along. Land before time, the cradle of human civilization. <laughs> I think we got to bring the pretendians to Ethiopia because they think they're from North America. We got to bring the pretendians to Ethiopia. They think they're from North America. <laughs> we got to bring the pretendians to Ethiopia. They think they're from North America. It's the Nkosi Amakosi. Hey, Plus Umar, one, hit the two, one, five. I'm sorry. Hey, Umar, hit the like button, bro. I don't mean to be eating this in front of you. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Let me mute myself. Respect. I love all black island. Next stop, Ethiopia. Taming Africans to come out the city of Philadelphia. How do you not know? Huh? Bama, June 11, Huntsville, Alabama, a, June 11, Harriet Tubman Award. The Knowledge Bookstore, Saturday the 17th. Next stop, Patterson, New Jersey. Did we Our last this? day in South Africa. The petite queens. But I love my queens. Curvy. No disrespect. I, I just totally missed all this. I don't know why. Well, he look at him. <laughs> Boy. What? what? He, he looking at the comments. They clowning him. I'll let it play. My drop in 40, I'm Big Papa for a reason. <laughs> I'm Big Papa for. They tell him to drop 40 pounds. They, they, why y'all don't do Umar like for that? A reason. My Ethiopian Africans, I will see you soon. Tomorrow is my last day in South Africa. Tomorrow is my last day in South Africa. Tomorrow is my last day. Next stop, Ethiopia. Next stop, Guadeloupe. Next stop, Ethiopia. Next stop, Guadeloupe Island. Next stop, Ethiopia. Next stop, Guadeloupe Island. Next stop, Ethiopia. Next stop, Guadeloupe. Next stop, Philadelphia. Stop the violence. Next stop, Washington, D.C. Stop the violence. Next stop, Newark, New Jersey, Juneteenth, Source of Knowledge Bookstore, Saturday the 17th. Next stop, Patterson. Man, he talking about events that are like eight months away. It's in New Jersey, Juneteenth, Sunday the 18th, 1 p.m. keynote. Next stop, Camden, New Jersey, Sunday evening, June the 18th, 6 p.m. keynote. Huntsville, Alabama, June 11. Huntsville, Alabama, June 11. Harriet Tubman Award. You want to meet me when I come to Philly? I live in Philly. You want to meet me when I come to Philly, sister? I live in Philly. How did you not know the Prince of Pan-Africanism yeah, yeah. wasn't What's born up, in the city of Philadelphia? I'm one of the greatest Africans to come out of the city of Philadelphia. I'm one of the greatest non-entertainment Africans to come out the city of Philadelphia. How do you not know? Boy, he's so arrogant. He really thinks he's special. Just looking goofy. About as goofy as you can look up here with this cosplay on. You need to stop. Over in Africa. It's gonna make no sense. Uh, let me get to some of these super chats real quick. And uh, we're, we're about halfway through that video, so we won't be here. We'll probably be here for another 20 minutes. We should be able to get to this real quick. Uh, Boston Man says he kn he know Tupac even when he tried to rap over, <laughs> rap over the recording. <laughs> California love. He was like, I think to put the to put the matita matita. That's right. California dreaming. I said, man, if you don't stop. It's embarrassing. It's funny though. It's one of the funniest things. That was another video though. He was singing something else. I can't remember what it was. It's just so embarrassing. But Umar, he's funny. He's just one of the funniest people you ever meet. Uh, thanks, Boston Man, for the super chat. Also, Boston Man, the other super chat says, "Dress for thick or thick or treat, dress <laughs> thick or treat, dressed as a clown." You know the 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 
the crazy part about it is it really he you can tell he feels as if it makes him special to be dressed like that that he really does he feels like he's some sort of a king or something or he's it's it's really weird and before he started you can tell he was he was hype he really felt like okay if i show the show myself in this attire that people are really going to like it that's why he keeps looking into the comments because he wants to see how people are responding it's really childlike it, it really is but the deeper issue is that instead of being over in Africa dressed in cosplay for Halloween in advance, why not be over here with these trap bandos getting work done? But see, he's been doing this now for over four and a half years, and that's why it's the, the renovation's still not complete. Why, why would it? Why would it take more than four and a half years to renovate half of the property over there, less than half of the property? Because if you put the small building uh, and you connect it to the small gym, it's less in terms of square footage than the other side of the street why would it take four and well four and over four and a half years uh well because even though umar said it was it was already done if he obviously he lied about that that's the whole point but the reason why it, it's uh it, it takes that long for him is because he's not even focused on that he's all over the place and including over in africa dressed like a black gandalf but, in, but for whatever reason he thinks that it, he feels like it makes him better i don't i don't, I don't get it uh, he's coked up and out of his mind when he goes on these rants. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, that, that's an ongoing issue uh, with Umar. And that's why I've told people I really want the best for him. I want him to get his life turned around. And obviously, he got some mental health issues and he got some other issues, too. And see, if, if you keep doing what you're doing and what you're doing is self-destructive, you're not going to get things turned around. You have to stop doing and engaging in self-destructive behavior, and you got to start doing things that are constructive. And so long as he holds on to the school scam, he's not going to have the time or the focus. To, he already lacks focus anyway, but he's not going to have the time or the focus to be able to turn things around in a positive direction and do things that are more productive in life, which is something I, that I do. I sincerely want for this guy. Okay. Uh, thanks, EK, for the super chat. Thanks, Boston Man, for the super chat as well. Um, a split uh, unit is not an HVAC. Heat. Oh, yeah, I, I got this one earlier. So nice. Thank you so much. Um, Leonard Umois needs a psycho He needs psychological. He, I, I agree. He needs psychological help. And see, so he claims to be a, a psychologist. He claims to be a therapist, so forth and so on. But he's the one. He's the one that needs the help. He, he really does. He doesn't see it, though. He doesn't see it at all. And I don't think he will see it until he takes a step back. You, you got to take a step back sometimes and, and just get clearer perspective. And he hasn't done that. You know, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And his behavior is worse and worse and worse. His ability to communicate gets worse and worse and worse. That's why he repeats things over and over and over again. You know, his physical appearance gets has gotten worse and worse and worse. And what it will take is for him to stop, just stop. And, and, and he could do it. You know, I, I, I think he has a misconception. I think he believes that. If he continues with this school scam, he's going to be able to continue getting money. And somehow uh, that's enough for his life. But he deserves better than that. He really does. We all deserve better than that. And as 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 horrible it is what he's done to black people with this school scam, he still deserves a better life. It's just it has to be something that is not corrupt. You can't get a better life by being corrupt. Look at DJ Envy. Look at uh, Cesar Pena. Look at, at um, Polite. Look at look at Jay Morrison. You can't do corrupt things and, and be dishonest and lie all the time and, and do all this scamming and stuff. You, you can't do that and, and expect a better life. It just doesn't work that way. You got to stop what you're doing and do something different, something that's more productive. And Umar, he does. He needs uh, psychological help. But see, the irony is he believes that he's the answer to people who need psychological help. He believes that nothing's wrong with him. He believes that he's Big Papa and all this grandiosity, the self-aggrandizement, all of that is part of, of what has built up inside of his psyche, this idea that he's the Christ figure. And he calls himself the Christ figure. Anyone who talks like that, they, they got some issues going on up here. You see, so he def definitely does need the help, but he's not going to get it until uh, either he has some sort of a... a, a moment in life where he he realized some great revelation that it, all of this has to stop or he hits rock rock bottom and he has no choice but to start climbing up out of this abyss and it is an abyss it is because it just keeps going and going and going uh, thanks for the super chat uh cynical sent the super chat too i think it's a, a super sticker thank you so much and dominique says umar looked like tupac in the same song <laughs> same song yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, he, he wow. Thanks. Uh, uh, and then Jaden says, uh, I'm still waiting on my song request for the Umar album. My thing is, isk. y'all need the what happened. Yeah, you remember that? That's when he flipped his phone and showed his living conditions. And in the original video, you can't see um, because it's dark in there. So what Umar would do is, is he would set up a little area like this. And y'all let me know if we, we got to hit the goal for the, to put a like so I can get that last C up there. I always want to get, get to it. But he had, he'll set up a little area like this. And what he would do is he'll bring the camera and he'll put his chair. You know, some of y'all remember this. This was a huge thing. But he'll 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 put his chair like right here and then he'll bring the camera up to where all you can see is like right here to right here. You can't see anything else. And he did this for for years. He would do this. So it looked like he had a nice little setup and excuse me, he would have uh, Af African uh, uh, artwork and African little uh, figurines and then pictures of different people up on the wall, Marcus Garvin stuff. But one day. He was live streaming. I can I can play it too. I can pull it up and show it to you guys. Maybe we'll come back to that one day. But this is another example of he lived like that. Um, nothing's going to change. You're still going to be living in those type of conditions. But he was live streaming, so it, all you could see was like right here. And he accidentally flips the phone, and when it flips, you can see what's in front of him, and it's just trash and boxes and stacked up. You know, all stacked up real high, and it's. It, it, it was one of the and see, I, I have the actual screenshots. I have the video, too. But what I did was I went in into my uh, Adobe Premiere because uh, I've done documentary work. So I know how to do video editing really good, um, color correction and all that stuff. And I put it inside of the program and, and you can adjust it to where you can really see uh, more clearly what's in there. And you guys should see, you know, the. And that's when he says, my thing is, is. Uh, and he's holding his phone. He's trying to get it off. You know, he's trying to flip it back around. My thing is, it's, it's y'all need to like y'all doing something wrong. Y'all need to. Uh, what happened? He finally ends up turning and flipping back around. Then he says, "Uh, we're in the process of moving." Uh, then you know they never moved. They don't get evicted though. I got the paperwork on that. I can pull it up and show everybody. But that's what this is from right here. You, Mark Johnson, Paul. Y'all need to see that just to, to see that that was. I think that was before he acquired those. No, no, that was shortly, not too long after he acquired these bandos. So that was in 2019. Because then he was talking about how he needed a place to stay out there in Wilmington. He never moved out there. Uh, he goes overseas because he's a joke in America. Well, the thing is, I, for, for Umar, I think it's an ego thing. It's mainly ego thing because it's not like he's going to get a lot of money going overseas because the conversion rate is, it's you know, people they can to, to them they can put down, you know, ten dollars, you know, but to us it's, it's like. It's like worth like 50 cents. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever their currency is, or they can put down a hundred in their currency, but in our currency, it's like a dollar. It's just 30 cents. So I don't think he goes there uh, for, for the money part. I think he goes there for the clout and just to kind of build his ego up. I also think, you know, there's a, he get him some cookies. You know, that's why he's talking about how he got all these hugs and stuff. That, that's the thing with Umar. The, the, uh, the women who cater to him in any kind of way, I think it feeds his ego. And that's he he desires that. I think he desires that even more so than he desires the money. I think there's and again, he, his desire for money is a, it, it's significant. OK, he'll, he'll run all types of schemes and to get money out of people. You know, uh, the, the the loyal donors club, you know, the the big Papa podcast, he fought TV. I mean, there's so many different things that he'll do that because he wants the money. But. I think to have women, uh, black women in a subservient position servicing him to whatever degree, that feeds his ego more than anything else. And that's why he always goes back to talking about sex. He always goes back to talking about cookies. And he'll go over to Africa. He'll go do the same thing. Yeah. What's up, Dr. J. Kelly? Y'all want me to pull it up? Okay. We still got about 900 people. So that's good. We're two hours and 30 minutes. I can pull it up. I, I got it. Uh, you know, I can pull it up. So let, let me go ahead and play a little of this. I'll, I'll pull it up for everybody. Y'all ask and I'll go ahead and do it. And then let me know how we're doing on likes. And then I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and get this last light on. I'll be right back. That I was not a Philadelphia native, my sister. Somali Africans come to Ethiopia. I'm too close for you not to pull up. 
Sudanese Africans come to Ethiopia. I'm too close for you not to pull up. Nubian Africans come to Ethiopia. I'm too close for you not to pull up. I'm not putting on no Philly cap. I got on my traditional Kosa Kingdom royal dress. I'm going to go to sleep in this. I don't even want to take it off. <laughs> you hear me, Kosa family? We're my Kosa brothers and my Kosa sisters. I want to thank y'all for gifting me with this outfit. I don't even want to take it off. I don't even want to take it off. Oh. I think I might got to sleep with my Kosa staff and my Ankh and my headdress, brothers and sisters. I don't even <laughs> want to take it off because I am royalty. I am royalty. The only question, will they let me check my Ankh at the airport, brothers and sisters? Uh -oh. Will they let me check my Ankh at the airport? That's the only issue. Can I check my Ankh at the airport, brothers and sisters? Will the airport deny me Excuse my me. Ankh? <laughs> deny me my Ankh? I know I got to get the Kosa clip. Kosa. Oh my God. Kosa. I'm working on it. I only speak English. You have to teach me how to speak Kosa. Do not I have any again. sisters? who will volunteer to teach not, me Kosa. Me Can, me is there any South here. African Kosa queens who will give me some Kosa lessons? If no. there's any South African Kosa queens who will serve as Dr. Umar's Kosa language instructor, please message serve, me serve, on serve. WhatsApp. I you also need to learn Zulu. Please. If there's any Zulu queens who want to be my personal Zulu language tutor, send me a message on WhatsApp. We're my Swazi queens. If there's any Swazi queens who want to be my personal Swazi language tutor, please message me on WhatsApp. Oh, yes. You're looking at them comments. Because I want a sister to teach me, my brother. Yes, I respect my brother Julius Malema. I respect my brother Julius Malema and I wish him well in his works to uplift the South African people. I do hope to meet the leader of the ANC. I do want to meet the prime minister of the ANC as well. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this video over. My focus is liberation for South African people. I have no party loyalty. My focus is the liberation of my South African brothers and sisters. I have no party loyalty. Okay, we're a little over halfway done with this video. So we're, we're almost done. So let me let me play this right here. Because th this was like a one of those moments where Umar, where a lot of people woke up. Um, now, this particular video, it's it's grainy and it's dark, but I have what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and then I'm going to show you guys screenshots where I actually could find the other video where I actually um, ran it through Adobe Premiere Pro. But I, I won't do that because it's going to take more time to, to, to find that. Um, this was probably um, 2020. It might have been 2019. I can't I really can't remember, but I'm going to go ahead and play it for you, you all here. Let me know if you guys can hear the audio. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, this is it right here. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go. Man, I'm looking for strong alpha males. Okay. Can y'all hear him? Strong alpha males. Send those resumes in. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com is what we're looking for. My, my thing is, 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 is y'all need to. Y'all need to. What, what happened? <laughs> Why they do that? Let me play it again. Then I'm gonna show you the screen. Man, I'm looking for strong alpha males. Okay. <laughs> strong alpha males. Send a snake over there. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. F man. MG resumes at gmail.com is what we're looking for. My, my thing is, 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 is y'all need to what, what happened? Okay. So he had that little area set up. In fact, when he did the school announcement video, he had that area set up uh behind him. Um so this was after this video is after 2019. Um, there's other versions where it's it's louder. I know you guys couldn't hear it all that well, um, but you can find them online. Let me play for you all. And I actually have an, a version, a video version where I lighten it up, but I, I, I would have to find it. Let me let me I'm not going to play. I'm going to show you all. This was circa around May 18th, 2019. All right, so let's check this out. And these are just uh, screenshots where I, you don't let me do it. No, it's not going to be doing it. Hold on one second. I'm going to do it a different, do it a different way here. Yeah, this is going to have to suffice. I'll, I apologize. I wasn't planning on. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, actually, I have it embedded in. So I'll play it here. I have it embedded in here. So let me know if you can hear the audio when I bring this up. I, I didn't realize I actually have this embedded in the actual software. I haven't done this in such a long time. Um, but I used to do this when I did presentations on Umar. You gonna let me do it? Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, I'll share audio. Okay, so let me know if you guys can hear the audio because I'm gonna be playing it from uh, Microsoft Publisher. It may or may not work. Y'all see this? Okay, here we go. Strong alpha male. Send those resumes in. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com is what we're looking for. Mm. My, my thing is, 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 is y'all need to, what, what happened? I'm in the process of relocating. To Wilmington, Delaware, so the apartment is a mess. See, see, he just goes to lying. And the thing is that uh, he never moved to Wilmington, Delaware. He that's just the excuse that he came up in came up with at, in that moment. Did y'all did y'all hear the audio? Let me know in the chat room. That's right now, y'all don't need to see all that. I'm in the process of relocating to Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, I'm in the process of relocating to picture? Wilmington, Good. Delaware. Start sniffing. <laughs> I'm in the process of relocating to Wilmington, Delaware. And people got on him about this. This was huge when this happened. All right. So now let's just look at this. So he says that he's moving, but it's not an issue of moving. These are li his living conditions. Look at this. And his mom was living there too. I hate to say it, but man, you see this? He had a little table set up right there. And then he had that little corner where he live streamed. He's doing this for years, but lo and behold, he accidentally flipped that phone and, and you can see what his living conditions were like. Look at that. My goodness. It's just trash on top, top of trash. It's, it's not even reasonable. Like, I mean, th this is like hoarder level. I mean, if, if you have to make a little walkway in the middle of the room it, this is a hoarder issue and he gonna open up a school for black boys look at that 
I, I couldn't do it. I, I just, there's no way. There's no way. It ain't got nothing to do with packing. Yeah, yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with packing. That's what Umar, he's a habitual liar. Instead of owning it, he has to make up some lie. He never moved either. They got to end up getting evicted out of here. He never moved. Then he, then he started posting uh, messages on his Instagram talking about if you have a black moving company, I'm going to need your help to move and blah, blah, blah. Went on and on and on about that. He never moved. <laughs> I said, you, got a, you got a window snake up over there. I got to get up off of this. I can't stand seeing this type of thing. I'm, I just, it's not me. I don't like it. I just do not like that at all. But I just can't, I can't. There's no way, like, if I went in, I would start cleaning up right away. I, I'm like that. And even if I don't mean to, I'll just start cleaning up. <laughs> and then I can't stop until it's clean. He he just don't care. He he don't, he really doesn't care. He didn't, he don't care because you can't live like that. And do that for years upon years and just let trash pile up like that. And you're a grown man and your mama stayed there too. She stayed downstairs. Anyway. Goodness gracious. So that that's what uh, Jalen is referring to because he says my thing is, is y'all need to. What happened? We're in the process of moving. Seneca says he goes overseas because yeah, we, we got that one. Uh, he should be looking for alpha males. <laughs> yeah, I know. But but you know what a mate uh, him having a mate that's why when he talks about uh, black women he says he needs y'all he needs y'all to do this and do that he really he needs women to take care of him because he's not a man and and taking care of him in terms of feeding him because he'll talk about y'all you know cooking uh, uh, taking care of him in terms of sexually right taking care of him in terms of cleaning okay so when he says i need 12 wives when he talks like that or he needs 12 people in his whatever he was talking about that's that's all about being in service and he'll say that too he'll say to be in service to be in service to him he's like he's like a a, a a one of those men who feels as if the women need to do everything for him but the truth is he's a he's like a child he's not a man he's like a boy and he does he needs women to take care of him he ain't the only one either there, there, there's men online and i already can tell they they got they Ain't got no job. They be on YouTube all day, all the time. And I can tell they they got they got they got a woman or a couple of them. They stay with them and they live stream out their apartment and they ain't got nothing going for them except being on YouTube. And they won't tell black people what they need to do. And you need to do this with your kids and you need to do this with your family and you need to do this with the queens and blah, blah. You don't need to date black women and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And black women, you hair need to be like this and you don't need to be doing that and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, living in filth. Or living off of a woman. It's embarrassing. All right, let's get back to this video. We finished up. We're almost done here. My focus is the liberation. Let me know in the chat. If Brother Julius is helping our people, I support my brother. If there's A and C, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say on the event, even even when he has these uh, cleanup days and, and paint days, he has women out there doing it in the cold. I, I, we've covered that. Okay, he he really depends on you women to take care of him and do don't do the hard heavy lifting, which is backwards. I don't believe in that. I think the men should do the heavy lifting. If you all women want to help out, that's fine. But we should be on the front line doing the heavy lifting. Issues who that's are working to help out. Uh, listen, that's just me. People say it's sex. I get it, but whatever. People, I support them too. I am a Pan-Africanist. I could care less about titles and party names. I'm a Pan-Africanist. I could care less about titles and party names, brothers and sisters. I support those who support my South African people. <laughs> Sudan, come to Ethiopia. <laughs> who are we looking for a sponsor? Can you sponsor me? The Nkosi, I'm a calls. He's like a big old child. I'm ready to get married. This outfit got me ready to wife somebody up right now. This, this outfit got me ready to get married. I'm He's ready to over. wife somebody else. Let me grab my other phone real quick. Go ahead and get your other phone, Big Papa. <laughs> Go get your other phone, Big Papa. Boy, he he got many things. 
he got many things in his bag. He ain't playing. He, he dumped it out. <laughs> I tell you. Come on now, Queens. Y'all, you know what time it is. He he ready to get wife, wife, uh, wife, one of y'all up. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Synergy, he trying. The Cody Cold, he trying to wipe one of y'all. Cause he ready. He put that outfit on. He got them superpowers now. He good. He got that. I'm sorry. I just didn't do that. I apologize. <laughs> okay, let me get zero because we got to finish up. We've gone too long. Here we go. <clears throat> what is he doing? Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. Oh, he got suspended on TikTok. Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. Yeah, he got many things. You see him dump that purse out. I said, man, what you doing? What you got a purse? I, uh, I don't know. You're taking time off? What's... <laughs> yeah, you taking time off. What are you talking about? You ain't got no job. I mean, come on. What are you talking about? <laughs> His phone was like, are you taking time off? <laughs> His phone got AI, AI on it. it. It ain't even connected. You, 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 you take a time off, King? He said, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm working. <laughs> I'll be working, family. Let, let, me, let me go back to the bag, though. Not to be petty, but, Real you know. Quick. There you go. You got uh, many things in that bag. <laughs> what in the world? He threw it down, too. He slapped it down and dumped it out. He got Legos in there. I said, Who my wife? Why you got why you got Legos in your bag, bro? Come on. <laughs> if he don't stop, he got Legos and, 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 and pencils. <laughs> I'm talking about them old pencils. You know the pencils, the old school number two. He got pencils in there. He he he, he got some enchiladas in there. <laughs> He tried to tell you he got Legos in there. He, <laughs> he, he dumped it all out. He, he dumped it out like he was mad at his bag. I said, don't be mad at your bag, bro. Else. Let me grab my other phone real quick. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> what <Whoa, whoa>, funny. <laughs> This guy, <laughs> he got he got Matchbox cars. <laughs> Matchbox was a cheaper. That was a cheaper brand. He don't got Hot Wheels. He got the Matchbox. He got Legos, pencils, pill bottles. <laughs> the eye of Newt. <laughs> he you know, ain't nobody about Shakespeare. It was spilt all over the place. Okay, but he he, he uh, definitely has some Legos and pencils. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I saw KJ Princess. I, I I don't know. He he was out there tripping. <laughs> he got the Mary Poppins medicine back. Who are the heat of black Mary Poppins? He, Just a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> it's so funny how he slapped it down first. <laughs> I'm gonna dump you out, man. I'm about to dump your ass. I'm gonna dump your ass out right now. All right. His phone was like, You taking time off, King? Okay, let's go. I'm sorry. We tripped. Bag lady. <laughs> Bag lady. You gonna hurt your back. Hunting on the night. Hunting on the night. Black lady. I don't know the lyrics. I like that. The, 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 and the bass line was good on that. Mama Gun was a good album. There was one song in there I really like. Yeah, ooh. Okay. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he had a Walkman in there. Everything. <laughs> a bag of Cheetos. <laughs> Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. No, you not. Don't don't say that. Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. 
He got old candy. <laughs> it's the hard candy in there too. <laughs> You're taking time off. What's <laughs> Why? Boy, it's 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 incredible. He said, "You taking time off? You taking time off? He got one shoe string in there, a plastic ruler, amethyst stone. He... <laughs> I'm sorry, we goofing off way too much. Okay, <laughs> I know, I know, it's true. <laughs> Every time." It's just... He's so casual about it, you know. <laughs> he just throws everything out. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna be, then I'll let it play because we're gonna be done. Here we go. <laughs> let me give him over the phone. <laughs> he know he let got. Let me check and <laughs> see if I'm still suspended <laughs> on. He got top. one tennis ball. <laughs> okay. Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. He do look like a Street Fighter character. You're taking time off? What's... <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like, cookie cream. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see oh if TikTok. Y'all tripping. I think I already skipped over. I'm back on TikTok. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. TikTok Africans about to get up in here now. TikTok Africans. Hold on. Here you go. I got to see it one more time. Then we're going to be done. <laughs> I'm ready to get married. This outfit got me ready to wife somebody up right now. This outfit got me ready. Hey, hey, listen, that right there. Oh, hold on. Not, I, that right there. You, I got. I, I don't know what the mics is. But that's okay. I got to light this last one on. I got to. We're almost done, y'all. But that one right there. <laughs> That makes he make me want to go and watch. Uh, I wouldn't mind watching Lord of the Rings. Watch, watch all of them. I ain't watched in a long time. <laughs> he got Golem's precious in that bag, family. <laughs> Boy, Cookie Crush Chat, y'all hilarious. You guys are so funny. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Y'all bring so much joy to my life. I appreciate. It. I appreciate all y'all too. All y'all. Okay, let me let me go back. Where, where's the video? Here we go. Dr. Umar's Kosa Lane brother somebody else. Let me Did he already do it? I also need to learn Zulu. If this any Zulu, I mean, the good. only question on. will they let me check my ankh at the okay. officials who are working to help out? Here we go. I think it's about right here. The in Kosi, I'm a Kosi. <laughs> Precious, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. It's like a makeup bag or something, because it sounds like he, you know. I'm ready to get married. This outfit got me yeah, ready to Tom wife somebody up right now. This <laughs> outfit got me ready to get married. I'm ready to yeah, wife somebody really. up. up Let me grab he my really other is. phone real quick. He's hilarious. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's so funny. Every time I play it, it's funnier. It's just how everything just falls out the back. I know we were being silly, but man. <laughs> it's like an avalanche of products. I don't know. Okay, let's stop goofing off. Let's get through this. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to play it again. <laughs> Ubar, come on, man. You got to be better than that. Stop going with this bag lady thing, man. You got to stop it. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me check and see if I'm still suspended. <laughs> you talk about the Infinity Stone Glove? Yeah, that's what he have in there. <laughs> that's somebody's a very pompous Betsy bag. Okay, let, let's move on. <laughs> it's the go forever. This is the cookie cut chat and I'm taking over. It's like the old days. I couldn't even have a show. Y'all take over and it's just 
I don't. I have no control. Here we go. <laughs> Let me check and see if I'm still suspended on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His phone don't like him. He was like, you take your time off. Yeah, I'm over in Africa. I'm over here in Africa, fam. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who said Umar said? <laughs> I didn't see that. I did not see that, Cajun Princess. Umar said Avon <laughs> He got old A bomb from 1987. I got to take this to Africa. They're buying over there, fam. Like, we working. <laughs> the other A bomb lady called. He was like, "You taking time off?" <laughs> oh wow, we we doing really good. Yeah, we got all the, we got the likes for today. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Somebody said Mary Kay. Yeah, Umar is a Mary Kay representative in Africa. That's what it is. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. I know this is too much. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. Whew. Yeah, he got crowned. Let me see there. if TikTok. Here we go. I'm back on TikTok. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. TikTok Africans about to get up in here now. Okay, I'm going to let this play because we, we've been on here too long. I'm the sure. TikTok is back. TikTok Africans, <laughs> come on in. Pay homage the to the Nkosi. I'm a Kosi. TikTok Africans, come on in. Okay. TikTok Africans, I'm off suspension. I'm in South Africa. I'm in the land of the Swazi, the Zulu, the Kosa, and I am dressed. In the reason why, too, is that, that this is so funny, the Avengers thing, because someone did a, a cartoon where Umar had the glove on or something like that. I can't I can't remember what it was. It's something like that, some anime. So that's why this is really funny. If you haven't seen it, you probably don't get it, but it's, it's funny. In my royal Kosa regalia that I was given today on stage in front of my South African family at the Oasis Bible Church TikTok family. I am the Nkosi. I'm a Kosi. I am the Nkosi. I'm a Kosi TikTok family. Oh, yes. I will be bringing a trip to South Africa for an economic investment trip. Who wants to come back with me to South Africa for an economic investment trip? Who Don't do it i can pull up the receipt right now he was trying it was on his birthday he was trying to scam his followers who were at the ifa tune college thing that he was doing and he was talking about it. he said boy he be scamming this guy he don't he don't stop scamming he just don't i can pull it up right now i ain't gonna do it I'll, i'm gonna let it play who wants to come back with me to South Africa for an economic investment trip? I can't believe this guy. I got on the royal dress of the king of the Nkosa kingdom. I am wearing the dress of the traditional rulers of the Nkosa people, the kingdom of Nkosa, South Africa. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. South Africa. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. Much respect to the South African family. Much respect to the South African family. Much respect to the South African family. It is the Nkosi. I'm a Kosi, brothers and sisters. The Nkosi. How do I look, TikTok queens? Do you like my Nkosi? I'm a Kosi. Royal dress of the Nkosa people. Where my TikTok queens at? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So watch this, y'all. See, I, I remember. That's how my mind works. He, he's talking about, but this, this, that whole Africa thing scam, that goes back a ways. This is on his birthday. Watch this. Let me know if y'all hear the audio. Watch this. I wish you a happy, happy birthday. Well, I want to say thank you to everybody. Well, thank you. It's been an honor to be with y'all all year long. Yes, sir. <laughs> the year went too fast, but I got to know you all very well on a personal level. And it was great. I cherish this year. It was a very challenging year for me personally. Uh, but the class really gave me something to look forward to. It pulled me through the tough times. 
And of course, the acquisition of the school was a blessing as well. And thank you to all of you. Um, and it's not the end. Um, it's not the end. I just got to take some time to regroup a little bit and uh, plot our next step. Yes, sir. Uh, watch, watch to this. let you guys know one of my immediate thoughts, and this is not uh, etched in stone, it's just a thought. But um, while I was in Africa, Hanera was there with us as well. Poor Hanera. Um, we came across a uh, chief, traditional ruler, and they have a program where they're trying to give away 5,000 free acres of land. Wow. But of course you have to pay for the processing of the land, the surveying of the land, so forth and so on. So I'm looking at purchasing several acres for the FDMG Africa campus. And I'm looking at having a select group of brothers and sisters who I trust to also uh, match the amount of acres that FDMG purchases. So if FDMG purchases 50, then the other brothers and sisters will purchase the other 50, so we would have 100 total. Mm -hmm. 50 under the control of the school and the other 50 under the control of our community with myself as chief. And so what I think I'm going to be doing is for all of you who are in this class, and then I'm gonna look at the six different Africa trips that I had, and I'm going to select brothers and sisters who I trust who accompanied me um, on those trips, uh, such as Uncle Jeff and others. Uh, but I have to look through the list because it's been six years, so I don't want to leave nobody out. And so between the class and the brothers and sisters I select from the six different tours I've taken, we will make up that village that actually goes forward with the purchase of the land. Now, with you all having been in the course of Pan-Africanism this whole year, one of the reasons why I think we're going to continue our group study together is because when we do finally get the community in Africa, I'm going to need to trust some of you to orientate brothers and sisters on the continent to Pan-Africanism, to Garveyism, so they can be crystal clear on what it is we stand for, what we live for, what we die for. And the only way you'll be able to do that effectively and accurately is if you know the information. So all of this was not in vain. It was not just about you learning it. It's about your ability to turn around and teach it to other people. So that would be the next phase. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at doing. And that's going to be a very, very serious step. And I have to be able to trust you in order to make that step. Because we only get one time to make a good first impression in Africa. You don't get a second one. So <laughs> there can't be no coonology in you, no nigritude, none of that. We got to go over there, you know, with the right, with the right frame of mind and with the right energy. Um, so that's what we're looking at. Mm. So we got the Delaware Project, obviously Wilmington, and then we got the Africa Project, mm. right? And I need diehard Pan-Africanists to help push the program on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Goodness but, gracious. But um, I need to announce that within the class, obviously, there's always an outstanding student. All right. Whew. Well, I tell you, this guy, he don't stop. He, he just it's it's just on and on and on. He even said they donated land in Africa. They, he said he had actually donated land. They were going to build a school over there. It just goes on and on. But the, the thing he wanted to try to this is more about filling people out because these are people who are at his birthday party. And uh, it's at this one lady's house. OK, this was the, the woman. Well, I don't even want to say all that. I'll leave it at that. But it, but there was this one lady's house. And uh, these are his dot at this time. There, none of these people are around anymore. You don't see these people around anymore. There's a lot of people that were around early on, 2019, 2020, there and abouts. But over the years, over the last four and a half years, people have fallen off. You don't see these people around anymore because they realize that he's nothing more than a scammer. And he's probably taking advantage of them, got money out of them and all blah, blah, blah. But this right here is him trying to get money out of people. And these are his diehard fans. So him saying things like, I want to make sure that I can trust you. He wants to make them feel special. You know, I want you guys to be able to, to train the other people. He wants to make them feel special. You know what it reminds me of is the guy that that uh, Jim Jones. He this is Jim Jones. And yeah, that's what this is. Exactly. See, and, and these cult leaders and these scammers, they want people to feel special. It's under this special cause, the Tulsa Real Estate Fund. We're buying back the block, you know, and this is going to help you. It's going to help the children. It's going to help blah, blah, blah. And it just goes on and on and on. But what he's really doing here, he's just trying to fill out who he can get money out uh, uh, here. Because these are his diehard followers. 
there's going to be more than likely there is going to be one, two, maybe three of these people that's be willing to go along with this. Whereas if he just outwardly went out online to on his Instagram at that time and said, you know what? Because he had just it wasn't too long after he purchased these, these bandos up there in Wilmington. They're still not open. But if he had done that to the, to the general uh, public, they would have been like, what? You just bought a school up here and it's still dilapidated. And yeah, we ain't seen nothing taking place at the time. No electricity, nothing like that. No water, nothing. They would they wouldn't. have. But see, in this sense, he, he has uh, uh, he has these people. Uh, uh, they're selected already because they were going to his Ifa Tunde University. And he would teach classes. So they already feel special. They feel like they're part of something. So he, he's trying to target and focus on them as the optimal mark as the con artist. And so he's trying to fill them out to see who would bite on this. And he's just planting the seeds in here. And you can tell as he talks, he's just spinning this. And it's really about just getting money out of people. But guess what? Here he is, you know, years later, school's still not open. And he's talking about a similar title. I look good, Keisha Queen. Kulsi, royal dress of the Nkulsa people. Where my TikTok queens at? Oh, he's yes. Else. He really is. Oh, yes. I look good, Keisha Queen. Keisha Queen said I look yeah, good on TikTok. Done. Done. I didn't mean for this to be this. I'm long. Mexican. Are you a Mexican African? Are you half Mexican, half African? Are you one of the uh, original Mexican Africans who came over from West Africa thousands of years ago? Oh, yes. Look at the headband with my name on it. The Nkulsa headband with the Nkulsa. Oh, yes, bro. I got the Nkulsa dress. Oh, yes. I'm ready to get married. Who wants to get married in the custom of the Nkulsa people? Who's ready to marry the King Kong of consciousness? Two queens, please. Two queens. I'm sorry. I already got one. I only got room for one queen. I need one. Who's ready to get married? Any sister is ready to get married. You ready? He ain't married nobody, but you you forgot you had one already. Boy, this guy, you a trip. Keisha, Keisha Queen says she ready. Keisha Queen said she is ready. Who ready? Maya says she ready to jump the broom with the King Kong. Oh, yes. No, you can't leave your husband. We not breaking up no families. Oh, no. You cannot leave your husband. They're trolling. Okay. No, we ain't doing that. Uh, uh I'm not taking nobody's wifey. We don't need those problems. Okay, you must be a single queen. Must be a single queen with no history of snow puppying. Single queen with no history of snow puppying. Oh yes. Oh yes, brothers and sisters. <laughs> You're right. You ain't got no it's job, the King bro. Kong of consciousness. Yeah, it is Africa no week. Job. I am in South yeah. Africa. I have been here the past two nights. Two days tomorrow will be my last day, <laughs> and then I head to the kingdom of Ethiopia. My Ethiopian Africans, I make sure know. you I'm dress so me in the royal dress. Make sure you dress me in the royal dress of the royal family. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. I don't know. I don't know what happened with, with Sugi Hana. I kind of felt like that the video we covered yesterday that something happened with Sugi Hana. I don't know. Because someone said that she's from out there. And uh, that the uh, thumbnail there for Act of uh, Food, that's Frederick Douglass and his uh, uh, wife. Hmm. Second wife. So who are talking all this mess about you black women? You're going to get with him. You can't have you can't have been with a snow puppy. Mean with a white man. But the guy he claimed to call to school after Frederick Douglass, he had a white wife. And trust me, I don't really care. If you get whatever, the woman is a woman. All y'all, it is what it is. Okay. But if you have a preference, I get that too. But if it's strictly because Umar said so or because it's a black power talk, you a damn fool. I'm sorry. It's the Nkosi. I'm a Kosi, King of Kings. That's my new title. I know y'all said I got too many names. He's Dr. Papa. He's Big Papa. Yeah, he's the notorious he RBG. He's King Kong Consciousness. He's Intercontinental Ifa Tunde. He's the Prince of Pan-Africanism. And guess what? Now I'm in Kulsi. I'm a Kulsi. Oh, yes. The King of Kings. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You need to reach me? Hit me on WhatsApp if you're an international African. Hit me on WhatsApp if you're an international African, plus one, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858.
<laughs> if you an American African, you can text me straight. I'm a, it's no I'm extra charge. American Africans, you can text me straight. Somali Africans, you better come to Ethiopia Wednesday and Thursday. My Somali Africans, you better come to Ethiopia Wednesday and Thursday. My Sudanese Africans, you better come to Ethiopia. Yeah, My yeah. Tanzanian Africans, Kenyan Africans, <laughs> Nubian Africans, y'all need to pull up to the African Union in Ethiopia. <laughs> oh, I got to get a cosplay card again. Patrick McDevil said, marry me. No, sir, my brother, Patrick. We're not doing that, my brother. You on the wrong page for that. No, sir, my brother. We are in traditional African family only, my brother. I don't know okay. what you've been drinking tonight, my brother. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you, my brother. We don't fly them games. No, sir. Who more funny? If it ain't the Yoni-verse, I'm not interested. If it ain't the Yoni-verse, I'm not interested. If you ain't got a natural God-given Yoni-verse, I'm not interested. Oh, yes. My Eritrean Africans, I need to see you in Ethiopia. My Eritrean Africans, I need to see you. I hope none of them women over there get, don't, oh my goodness, too late, because he already went over there. Oh, goodness gracious. He over there, yeah, he talk about the Yoni verse, and the, I, I said, huh? <laughs> this guy, he, he wild. He really, he just, oh, he's a wild. In Ethiopia. Oh, yes. In Kosi, I'm a Kosi. Right on time for, Kulsi, for, uh, for Halloween. Look at this guy. In Kulsi, I'm a Kulsi. Who coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who's coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who's coming to Philadelphia for the Stop the Violence That's Conference? State Senator Anthony Hardy Williams. <laughs> I know, I Call State Senator before. Anthony Hardy Williams' office and say, no, where is the stop? How's it going, How's it going uh, uh, Samaria? We in the dark it's, again, uh, brothers and sisters. We're almost done. What happened? The, the ants generator has went out, but I don't care. Because Let's see. Let's see. But so it's just it just won't stop. It just always it's always something. It's always something. I got I feel like I need to turn lights off now to support Umar. Let's can we support him? I'm going to support him because I I, I I don't know. I, I don't want to, but because we're almost done. But I want to just turn all the lights off and just just to show solidarity with the prince. You can't make this up. This guy live streaming in Africa in the dark because the generator went out. <laughs> Golly. United States. You nine. If you ain't got a natural God given Philadelphia. Suit oh, let me straight. Oh, here it is. In Colsey, I'm a Colsey. In Colsey, I'm a Colsey. <laughs> Who coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who's coming to Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th? Who's coming to Philadelphia yeah. for the Stop the yeah, Violence about five more minutes. I'll be done. Conference? State Senator Anthony Hardy Williams. Call State Senator Anthony Hardy Williams' office and say, where is the stop? We in the dark again, brothers and sisters. The ants generator has went out, but I don't care because I'm home in Africa. I said the generator went out, but I don't care because I'm home in Africa. I said the generator has went out, but I don't care because I'm home in Africa. I love Africa. Where are my Ghanaian Africans? Where are not my Namibian Africans? Where are my Nigerian Africans? Where are my Liberian Africans? Where are my Botswana Africans? Where are my Togolese Africans? Where are my Gambian and Zambian Africans? Where are my Cote d'Ivoire Africans? Where are my Lesotho Basotho Nation Africans? Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. So what? The lights went out. 
So what the lights went out? We are African and we are proud. So what the lights went out? We that's are that's African crazy. and we are proud. Oh, yes. If you need to add me on WhatsApp, plus one, two, one, five, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight, five, eight, plus one, two, one, five, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight, five, eight. Oh, yes, bro. When I get back to America, it's time to finish FDMG and it's time to organize the show up and show out committee. Who in America, my American Africans, who is going to join the show up and show out committee in your city? I'm building a show up and show out committee for every major city in black America. Who's going to join the show up and show out committee? And <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. This is perfect. I did not know. This is per thank y'all so much as we close out. This is perfect. And the lyric is, uh, I have an eighth of a job. <laughs> That's the, the lyric from earlier. I have an eighth of a job. That's Ubar. Now, obviously, he ain't got no electricity up over there. It, the irony of it. Remember the whole electricity thing at the FDNB? And look at this. And he, and he don't have the sense to say, oh, I'm sorry, we ain't got, I'm going to have to stop. No, he keeps going. We're going to, it's about 20 to maybe 30 seconds left. Here we go. Black America, brothers and sisters. Keisha Queen 34. I see you, Keisha Queen 34. Okay. Wait a minute. Who in this room with me right now? Oh, yes. In Corsi, I'm a Corsi. Oh, yes, ma'am. In Corsi, I'm a Corsi. The ancestors oh, turned the lights back on. They done there. In Corsi, I'm a Corsi, brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, fam. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Baltimore, I will see you in Washington, oh, D.C. Stop the Violence mm. Conference, June 14, Washington, D.C. Stop the Violence Conference, June 14, Washington, D.C. Stop oh, the okay. Violence Conference, June 14, Washington, D.C. That's what I was saying. Samaria, I don't understand. He I got to get some sleep, y'all. I'm full of energy, but I got to get some sleep. Great day today, South Africa. Oh, I'm going to get on WhatsApp and check my WhatsApp messages. Just moaning. Then I'm going to get on my regular text and check my text messages. <laughs> it's crazy, I'm gonna get he just And check my email, Dr. Umar Johnson at Yahoo.com. <laughs> Do not send me a message through Instagram. They sabotage my Instagram <laughs> inbox. I can't <laughs> check the messages on Instagram. Mark. Z I don't know. He just was just moaning. I, I have no idea. And then I guess his internet went out. And that, I think that picture right there sums it all up right there. That, that sums everything up. It's Halloween. So it all works out. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed it. So thank y'all so much. I don't know if I'm a live stream tomorrow. Um, like I said, I have, uh, I have to, go in and do overtime i don't know if i do that tomorrow i can still do it on thursday but i have to do it this week it's mandatory um i have to do it either wednesday or thursday so uh, i'll find i'll know for sure tomorrow there is also uh on my uh, community tab here on youtube there is a poll that i set up for uh the next series that will start on youtube and um i had asked a question if you would like for me to start a new series we're going to end up doing series on all three of these people but the the next series that we do um i have here listed uh would you want me to start a new series on jay morrison that's at 19 percent of the votes polite that's at 38 percent of the votes or caesar pina slash dj envy that's at 43 percent of the vote so if you guys haven't voted on that yet please head on over to my community tab and uh, place your vote and whatever has the highest percentage we will start that series next week. We'll continue to do series on Umar. And then at a certain point, we'll add other series to uh, from the other two uh, people uh, that are listed on uh, that particular. Uh, it's on my community tab, that that poll. Um, thank you all so much for tuning on. Everyone's on the Good Curse Chat. Uh, I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but it ended up being this. I hope you had a wonderful Halloween. Uh, thanks, everyone, too, uh, who's tuned in to these live streams. I know I was away for a while, and I appreciate everyone tuning in uh, and joining us. We have a wonderful time. I really appreciate y'all's presence. I, I can't thank you all enough uh, for the joy that you bring into my life. I really do appreciate it. I missed you all dearly. 
And I sincerely mean that. I'm glad to, to be back. Glad to see you all again. Also, want to thank the moderators here uh, on my YouTube page. I appreciate y'all handling the business. And thanks to everyone who sent in super chats this evening, as well as cash apps and PayPal. I appreciate all y'all. Please, if y'all if y'all can hit the like button, if you haven't before you before you head out the building, I would really, really appreciate it. That helps to, to get this, the, these videos out there into the algorithm. And uh, we'll continue to do what we do here. Hope you all enjoy the show. If you like the show, if you can uh, let me know as we close out and as we always do. All right. Yeah, me too. Wow, it's nice. Love y'all. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. FDMG is coming. It's coming. FDMG. It's coming, FDMG is coming, FDMG, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming, oh, it's coming. FDMG is coming, FDMG is coming. Thought it's personality, be twerking, it's twerking. All right. Thank you all so much. Cookie Crush Chat. Yeah, y'all was hilarious this evening. It's, it's just wonderful. I really appreciate it. Someone had asked, uh, what is Cookie CCC? That's Cookie Crush Chat. That's our chat room name. I don't know who came up with it, but someone came up with it and it's stuck and then we're going to stick with it. We keep riding with it. Thank y'all again for tuning on in. Uh, Bridget, appreciate you tuning in and, and Hassani as well and Divine. I uh, appreciate uh, y'all, y'all, everybody in the chat room. Again, please enjoy your rest of your evening and I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Take care. Peace.